United States is a communication to the children to take a trip, to cop out, to groove. The psychedelic jackets on the record albums have their own hidden symbols and messages as well as all the lyrics of all the pop rock songs. And they all sing the same refrain. It's fun. This is a special request. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We don't want you to smoke genetically modified ganja. We want you to smoke the real thing. We want you to smoke the natural herb. Some call it marijuana. Some call it sensor media. Some call it lamb's bread. And some people call it... Welcome to another edition of the Adam Dunn Show. I am your host, Adam Dunn. And there's no co-host Mitch and Asa, but I'm the kid. Yeah, the kid's in the house. I'm over here. The kid is in Can't the house. See me. Where are we today? We are in the kid's kitchen. In, in the, the kid's kitchen. In the kid's kitchen. Why are we here? We're making a cyber turkey. What is a cyber turkey? It's a fake turkey. You've never seen this no. before in your I've life. I've seen a picture of it that, that the guys from AU Extracts posted from Thanksgiving, I think. That's it. That's all there I saw. You, there you go. Well, now we're going to do one live. I'm excited. And the reason why, because uh, we don't have Mitch. We don't have Mitch. No Mitch, no Mitch equals no structure equals the old school Adam Dunn show that everybody was very familiar with back in the day, which was, the hell is he talking about? He has no idea what he's doing he's today, does he? In the kitchen. But I do know how to make cyber turkey. turkey. So my whole key is that I'm going to be creating it with my favorite product. Whoa. Oh, corn. Oh, corn. <laughs> cool, corn. Yes, exactly. See, read and be amazed. Chick Mycoproteins. In, chick in cutlets. Yes, <laughs> no GMOs, no soy. Key, okay. That's the key. No right soy. So, what the fuck is it? Yeah, then? microproteins. That's what I was trying Microproteins. To say. Myco. Myco. Oh. Like Mycoprotein, like 86%. Like mycorrhizal. So, it's, rehydrated see, it brings egg. it into our show. Yeast. This is actually a, a cultured. It's cultured. Yeah, it's got sage it's in it. It's got sage in it. So we're going to use a uh, spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. I've hollowed it out. Let's bring see. another light in here so we can get it yeah, all Yeah, let's get better light. Let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Um, spaghetti squash, which I create into a, uh, I don't know, as you can see, like a Hellraiser. There you go. There's a good Hellraiser. So I'm putting in all of these uh, satay sticks. Now, normally I would soak them, but... We didn't have time, so we'll just hope for the best. And this is a little bit of a quick to do version of what I'm doing. And I've done this for pretty much the last 15 years in a row or something like that. So this is a work in progress. How are we doing? Oh, look at this professional. The kid, multi lighting. This is award winning. This yeah. is Emmy award winning. Emmy award winning kitchen shots. Set up beautiful, in beautiful. 10 minutes or less by the kid. Yeah, or less. Or um, less. So less. obviously, we're going to medicate it. So we have, oh, Jesus Christ, I just spilled half of it. <laughs> Coconut oil, and uh, I'm going to have to put some water in there. Coconut oil and some uh, nice VHO. with this one on the floor. I've got to clean uh, it. Uh, I was looking up. No. <laughs> no. No, uh, don't do that. Yeah. It's all right. I got more. You got a butt ton of rosin you can smell. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Let me put some more into uh, the mix. The mix. The mix. So tell me, how, obviously the sound is going to be shitty because I'm going to be running around, but I'll try to keep the mic. I'll try to keep the mic close when I'm doing stuff. Yeah, I mean as close to your mouth as you can. I'll, I'll pull your gain up a little bit I on here. Also, uh, pull some people's up names. I pull some stuff up on here. See who's. Who is actually listening to us? If there is anybody, is I anybody? can check on the. Uh, yeah, let me check on the live stream app here. Fuck Russell's listening. We'll see. We know. We know. Spring Hill Jack's probably listening, and Corn actually for Spring Hill and for our UK listeners. This is a UK product. So it comes from. So it's imported. You eat imported fake chicken. Whoa! What's going on there? That's just our show. We'll My fault. Our show's live. That's good. There's really 51 live. people watching right 51 now. 51 people learning how to make cyber turkey. They're like, wait a minute, cyber turkey. This has nothing to do with cannabis. Once again, yep. we're medicating it, so it will yep. be. It will be more, more towards our show. But I don't know. I think a few of I think a few of our listeners are actually like-minded like myself. They're not fleshy. I don't think they go this in depth into making cyber turkey. But Nobody I mean, does. sure. Nobody does. So this is just an option. 
it's also good when you got this is great when you have people over like on the holidays and they're like what are you gonna eat you're a vegetarian and then you go like you pull this bitch out and they're like holy oh, that's a turkey that looks just like a chicken bro and then they love it and now you don't eat that part right like you can't yeah of course you can you, you can but you don't right it's just for show no it's not for show it's the thing is a spaghetti squash you've had spaghetti squash right Maybe in like like what, a stir third? fry. What are you talking about? Yeah, like chopped up squash or something like that. You know? Okay, well spaghetti squash for those like the kid who don't understand what spaghetti. This is a awesome, awesome gourd. Let's say a gourd. Um, because when you're done, when you after you cooked it for about thirty minutes, it comes out like spaghetti, right? It scoops uh. out like literally spaghetti strands. So. I was thinking about doing, but it's too experimental. I was going to do my Italian version that I haven't quite mastered yet. The Italian version? Yes, which would be spaghetti squash, like chicken parmesan, mm. built onto a turkey sort of base. That would be good. It's pretty dope. be interesting. But I didn't want to experiment. I wanted to go traditional. Yeah. Yeah. Traditional. Like so what else do you have there? You have some phyllo dough? Okay, so I got some phyllo dough. What is phyllo dough? It's just phyllo like... What Greek, pa- Greek pastry. Yeah. I'm Greek too. Half Greek, half so Irish. So it's like what they make like uh, uh, baklava half from? Half Greek, half Irish. Booyah! Boom. Irish butter, Look, Greek phyllo. Uh, so what do you mean? Does it have to be that kind of butter? This pure is, Irish uh, butter? Pure Irish butter means it's grass-fed. It's ridiculous. What are you talking about? You spend so much money on food when you can just go to McDonald's. Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> and then at the end, and when I live an extra ten years longer, yeah, I'll it's be true. Thinking about all those McDonald's trips I could have had. It's true. Yes. Oh, we got sixty-five listening now. They're yeah. into it. They like cooking. Yeah, cooking. Well, you know, the cooking episodes always do well. Do they? On we never had one. No, I mean on, on anything. <laughs> never like, had a cooking. Episode. Anytime anybody does a special episode with them cooking food, especially I feel like in Stoner World, hell yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Why not? Okay. You know, luckily, I think a lot of stoners are like myself, where we are. We like to be self-sufficient, grow our own weed, okay. you know, make our own food, and you know, unless you're like you and you trust everybody. I don't trust everybody, but I don't really care about. Not. Like trust Taco Bell, right? You trust Taco Bell. Eh. Depends eh. on what you consider to be a trust, but yeah. So while I'm doing this, let's uh, do what we would normally do if Mitch was here, because since, since now we don't have our father figure. Uh, There's not much news, and I don't pull up news. All I know is... You don't pull, I'm not even asking you about news. I'm just asking you what you did this week. This week. This is, a, this is our... We have a format. So I, went, I, mean, I, went, I went home I after last like week's it. show. Uh-huh. And, uh... Oh, what did we do? Uh, no, I went home two weeks' shows. Two shows oh, ago, we had right? Christmas. Something must have happened. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Crash no, no. during Christmas? No. No, did you see that video of Mike Tyson crashing his hoverboard? That was it's awesome. fucking funny. That was awesome. Uh, no, I didn't I really do anything. Did, I think, uh... There's a whole series of good ones now. Yeah. Yeah. I picked up a new set of heat plates for the press, which is... They're awesome. They're like Santa got it for you. Trying to say, uh, yeah, Santa brought me the plates. They're uh, from the set of Rosin Works official plates. They're they're freaking really nice, man. All stainless steel, safe up to seventy tons, uh, custom sizes. They're like three and a half inch, five inch, but they're they're awesome, man. So this is actually the hardest part right here. This poking the like, poking oh, man. The, Let me tell you, last time I had a I had the right tools. You have to have right. You have to have a metal skewer to do the this right properly. tools. Tools, man. Tools. tools. So, uh, so you got a rosin press. Well, no, I got plates. Plates, so sorry, you got so rosin kinda, plates. Kind of, made a bunch of, bunch of rosin. Made a bunch of rosin, that's bunch good. Bunch of rosin, yeah. Well, I had a very mellow Christmas with the kid. Not this kid. Like, like the real kid. The real kid, the kid. Like the, the uh, real kid. Oh, the kid. NYC. NYC, and he had a great time. What do you get? Do you get much cool stuff? Yeah, we kept it kind of, you know. I got a vegan a, bicycle. A vegan bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> mom, mom, uh, well, grandma, I should say, right. got him. Uh, she always gets some cool stuff. She got him like a retro shit. She goes and she finds like the '80s toys that nobody's even, even knew existed. You know what I mean? Like okay. So he got on the spaceship, which is super dope. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You don't have a torch? No, I do. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know. All right, good. Yeah. Um, but she got him this like '80s toy spaceship thing. Real hard to find spaceships right now. I don't know yeah. if you noticed this. But well, I, I feel like I mean, with it, real hard because they were sold out. No, real hard because they don't give a shit about spaceships anymore. But really, even with the Star Wars thing going on. You would on think, yeah, but that's that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Star Wars. I'm right, just spaceships in general. Spaceships you think in the general. Spaceships would be up. I think you got a big door angle here going on. What's up? What do you mean? Oh. 
I thought you were Emmy Award winning. Dude, I'm just, uh, I'm Emmy Award winning with anything other than a, a webcam. Okay, okay. Webcams don't apply. Nice torch you got there. Webcams need not apply. Make us look really classy. Well, I, I class, use, this class this place up a bit. I don't use little torches. We got a Coleman, Coleman camping stove <laughs> version. It works quicker. It's a nicer torch. I like it. So should we open? Should we open Skype lines to 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 callers for anything? Tips, questions. How long generally does it take to make a cyber turkey? Well, the preparation is the whole thing. It's, um, I'd say about a 45 minute prep. And then bake time. Half hour. Okay. Of course, the show standing up is going to be interesting too. Yeah, it's going to be. I mean, this is the first, I think, it's the first. full standing first. show. Yeah, full standing ever. It never been done. Never, in the history of mankind, has a show. Hey, take us up with some new dabbers, man, because our stuff's really bad. So add some more for my dribblage. So um, yeah, we Mitch is off on the East Coast, back home. Uh, Fucking 70 degrees over there. Yeah, it's fucking beautiful. She I was uh, bringing us home on Christmas, and she was FaceTiming me from her porch in, like, shorts with no shoes on, just hanging out outside, and I'm sitting here in one-degree weather, fucking freezing my balls off. It's bullshit. It was awesome, though, because usually people are really, like, salty about it being too fucking cold, but now it was about it being too warm. You know, I was like, come on, guys. Right. Man, it's so warm. Can't this fucking is, win on the East Coasters. Like, all right, well... East Coast, yeah, they can tell you I'm done with it. I was sitting here, like, like I said, freezing my fucking my ass cheeks off, wishing that it was it was warmer. I'd kill for a 70 degree Christmas, either 70 degree Christmas or a white snowy Christmas. Otherwise, there's no in between for me. We had an inch of snow, so that's officially yeah, white I guess Christmas. a white snowy Christmas. That's official. So uh, that sound you're hearing is the microwave. We're gonna have Skype run up and running in a second, all right? Yes. So if people want to call in, it's uh, Seven two zero three one zero eight two three seven. Is it? I don't know. Seven two zero three one zero tads. Tads. I always forget that. I don't. My Something brain like does that. not work on those keypad things. They remember it more than we do. They better. Oh, they're, they're the ones that need to call us. Don't so let me uh, let, let me get that up and run. Let me take my dad first. All right. So activating that oil a little bit. AJ saying no show today. Are we having a show today? We are live, right? We indeed are live. We indeed are. We are live, waiting for you. Uh, AJ, if you're listening, we're waiting for you. Come on down. Here. Come on down. <coughs> yeah. Enjoy the cyber turkiness of it all. So, um, yeah, let's see what else went on this whole last day. Actually, it was a quite a mild year, not weather wise, but just. Just like stress wise, it seems like nobody really went o- OTT this time. It's like, you know what? What do you mean? Just with family stuff, it was like, no. there was no no major crush. I think like Thanksgiving was a little bit more stressed this year than. Uh, than uh, yeah. Thanks- well, yeah. Just you went through a record number of cars this year. I did. You did? Yeah. I took out a few. I have two <laughs> more days left, though. Yeah. So there, there's, don't there's count still- me out. Don't count me out. You could still get a couple more. I'm working on it. Um. It was a good show last week too. That yeah. with Leo and stuff. That was really on, on point as far as like uh, I was surprised we bit. stretched that whole show out with him so good. But he's actually quite a knowledgeable kid. So I mean, I, like I said, we were we were impressed with the fact of how old he was when we met him. We were like, How oh. old is he? Well, I think he's a lot younger than I thought. I don't know exactly his age, but he's he's. A, I mean, it seems like somebody when you're. That's the thing about growing and stuff is that you, uh, you know, you have this preconception of people a lot of times. You know, Bodie, of course. That we've got been talking about a lot. People don't even know who the guy looked like. You know what I mean? So, right, so right. there's like that mystery side of it, which is fun. That, but when you actually meet somebody, and I'm sure it's happened to people with me too, because it's you know you're like, wait a minute, you're the guy? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah that's you. I was thinking some old guy. Like, always so always an older guy. He always. I, I asked Mitch. I was like, does Bodie? You know, I pictured Bodie having you know dreads or you know things. He's like, no, no, he doesn't have dreads at all. 
I'm like, oh, really? No. But he has the vi- he could have dreads. He could. Oh yeah. 100%. Okay. There's no doubt that he's the kind of guy. Either he had dress. them, or just mystically he should have them. Right. He's got that look. You're, gotcha. You're, you were 100. On point. I just feel like with that name, that with that name, you have. Bodie should have dreads. dreads. Yes, yeah. that's important. Um, and I quit stage this week. Did you now? Congratulations. So I'm you like, smoked 400,000 well, E capsules. No, not all that much, and there's is no it, propane glycol in here. Is there? Is there it's uh, just like vegetable glycerin. Flat. I think anything glycerin. Needs. Yeah, but okay, but it's better than what's in a cigarette. And oh. and honestly, it's just going to help me not smoke cigs anymore. So it's going to be good. We're, we're trying to quit. Well, let's see. So, uh... What's the next step? What are, what are you doing right now? I'm looking, I need you a pan. I need your pan. I need your pan, actually. I need, I need your. Pan. I need your. I need your pan. I'm gonna grab a pan. And then I'm gonna go take some of this butter and I'm gonna melt the butter down into our concoction here, so that we can have it to spread out on our corn deals. Um, there you go. Thank you very much. The best thing about cooking shows is people fuck up all the time on them. Yeah, yeah. Guaranteed. There's almost a guarantee that like, the dog's going to eat something or yeah. something's going to go down. You can't let that happen in this episode of the cooking show because last time that happened, me and Vinny didn't get along. Really? That was well, it? Remember? That was like a year ago, remember? I brought him to the lab and like he ate everything. Mm-hmm. Anything that was medicated there, he ate. He was ridiculous. I was texting you all night like, dude, I really think I need to take him to the... To the emergency room, you're like, no, no. Okay, so adding the the butter to the mix. Oh, it looks gross. It looks gross. Of course it does. It's part of the deal. Everything. So you've never. This is this, this is going to be the first time medicating one. This is going to be the medicated part of it. Yes. Okay. So we'll add some uh, some thyme. Some time like actual like T-I-M-E or thyme T-H-Y-M-E it's not thyme <laughs> I know but it should be it should be thyme it should be it's not but it should be yes. should be thyme thyme put a little bit of thyme color. in there um, and some rosemary because these are the classic these are the classic poultry things actually I probably should have bought some poultry seasoning to uh, make it even more authentic I think I might have some poultry seasoning really like some, oh, like some bouillon it? like chicken bouillon or whatever Whoa, dead, dead air, dead air, dead air. Dead air. Woo, woo, that was a close one. So um, I need to get pull up the my phone so I can see who the fuck is listening to us. There's only 55 people. Right? I know, but those 55 people. I'm trying to think of what kind of. I don't think I have it. That's all right. I don't need it. I'm good. I'm good. Um. Do you have any bullion? I got it. I got it. I don't need bullion. Yeah, I got all that. I was asking for something totally different. It's all right though. Okay, so we Probably do. Are we actually up or not? Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, 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 right. Okay, good. Okay, I'm just yeah. checking. Buck Russell, oh, Spring Hill Jack, Cali 420, uh, Orlando International. Oh, what picture is that? Dabs McDuck. Oh, it's just the first thing I could take a picture of. They asked me for a picture, so I figured a picture of something was better than a picture of nothing. Right. Oh, you're blown up. So I was blown up in the nuke. Hell yeah. So we don't. So all of those super crazy veganic organic. Insane bullshit, and you're tossing it in the microwave. Well, you don't have a stove. <laughs> I have a stove right, right there, right but right I don't right have right a microwave right oven. No, but you don't have a stove that goes low enough. That's the problem. Right, 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 right. Gotcha. Well, it's all right. I guess there's one thing. He's not the first guy to nuke his weed products. No. I used to do it with peanut butter all the time and put, like, a bunch of shake in the peanut butter and then eat the peanut butter. Yeah. Fuck you up. Yeah. Fuck you Did a good up. job that in college. Like kid, kid recipe if I ever heard it. It was, like, it was old, like, super kid recipe, like, freshman year of college, 18 years old. It was great. It pretty good, though. Well, I don't know, though. That smells, it smells like... Uh, uh, yeah. To the kid, everything smells good. Okay, I need salt and pepper, but all I need from you. Can you handle, can you handle that? Can your kitchen handle the salt and pepper? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's all salt. I need. Salt. Super crazy, like crystal. Wow. Himalayan, Himalayan salt. <laughs> now we're talking. That's what I would be using. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed, kid. This obviously is a Brit buy. No, that's not even ours. <laughs> that's not even yours. That's a Stefan buy. Oh, Stefan. Stefan. Killing it. Killing it. All right, let me pull up this thing so I can uh, see. Kyle this. totally could have bought that, too. Kyle buys weird stuff like that. 
Nice. Well, so what that picture is, though? It's, it's that rosin right there. Oh, ah, just the close rosin. Up. I get you. I got you. Yeah. Right. So, <coughs> All right, sorry, uh-huh. sorry, sorry. We're going. He's doubting me. I'm just checking. All just right, doubting me. We're we're ready. We are live. We we actually are still live. Um, so the kitchen sounds nice. Kentron says so. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Kitchen kitchen tech. Yeah. Kitchen tech. Everything's tech. <laughs> cyber cyber turkey. Tech. Cyber tech. Cyber turkey tech. CTT. All right, let me see. I gotta add a few more. So this thing's dangerous. What is? And how did you explain what this looks like to me earlier? Uh, Hellraiser. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah. And terrible movie. Huh? Those movies are terrible. Terrible, but inspiration for Cyber <laughs> Turkey. So, I, I I can't believe that they still play those during any time of the year, little in Halloween, because they're just really bad movies. So let's see. Where has the okay? We got the Cyber Top. Boom. Kind of Hellraiser-ish, right? It's definitely like a definitely. I get, they can't really see the spikes in it's it from that far away. It's a weapon. It's yes. A weapon. Dogs like it. Dogs like it. Hey, get out of there. Jesus, dogs. Kilo's famous right now, but no cyber turkey for you, Kilo. So is Mitch on the? Is Mitch in there? I don't see him. My God, I don't see him. I don't think he wants to watch. He doesn't care. He really doesn't, does he? Apparently, we need to open a restaurant, though. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it apparently? We would not. You haven't seen the food yet. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, and I don't eat any of this, so. It doesn't the work. kid doubts anything good. Oh uh, no, that's not true. I, I eat some I'm stuff. I'm actually doing this for you. You know that. I like sushi. I'm doing this entire thing. We need to go to an all you can eat sushi. What's going on there? I see some licking. Hey. You know, it's always good to have. Oh yeah, some time. That's good for his breath. That's yeah, really yeah, good. That's good for your breath. Don't need time. Get out. Yeah, he does. Get out of here. No time for you. Get. No time for you. What are you, the time Nazi like now? The, the timekeeper. <laughs> no time for you. No time for you. Uh, all right, let me so see. I'm getting more lean. Uh, he's making a a vegan turkey, a cyber turkey, as he calls it. So it's yes. a turkey that's that is not turkey at all. There yeah, it is. At all. But it's gonna. Apparently, it's, it's good. It's guilt free. Yeah, guilt free turkey. <laughs> guilt free, my friend. Do we need should, should the oven be preheating or something? Yeah, let's preheat that. Oven. Okay, what do we do that? What are we preheating at? Let us make this like a real cooking show. You want to see how beautiful this is too? And I and what I'm not here. doing, what I'm not doing, like many shows are, and we can still check. Not having a fake. Like I didn't go make a nice version of this that I'm gonna whip out and we're gonna eat. No, we're gonna do it right now. We're gonna do it right now and we're gonna be like, man, you forgot something. <laughs> I won't know though, so. No, you'll never know. It's gonna be scary. So preheating to what, like 350? Yes, yeah, spaghetti squash. Or 420. So you don't do the 420 thing. I do. Um, it's lame. You could do that. Was it too hot though? It's, it's not gonna cook everything. I usually do. I usually do around 375, and then okay. I'll, and then I'll, I'll it nail it at the end for the little browning right, effect. 375 preheating. Yes, yeah, spaghetti squash. <laughs> Who was asking me that? Spaghetti squash. Oh, Miss more more or no less wanted to know. And yes, that is correct. Okay, so we've got the basics now. Of this I need to uh, do my stuffing. And normally I do that. Normally everything I would do would be homemade, but since we're doing it on the fly, I had to go and do the old stovetop styley. Sorry. Oh, uh, those are mashed potatoes. No, it's okay. no everything, but everything, mashed potatoes, everything. stuffing, everything I would normally do. So wonders. you would make the stuffing from like actual breadcrumbs and stuff. Of course, like that. dude. That's how hard is that? It no, takes, no, like, no but Stouffer's box stuffing is There's fucking bomb. Four freaking ingredients. Even the even the Heinz. Uh, this I would have I would have made myself. Too yeah, see, that's what I mean. We make that. But but I shouldn't say we. I don't make anything. Britt made you don't make nothing. I'm in. I was gonna. I was actually gonna call ahead. And say, I made some killer hey, French toast. Britt makes some gravy. Yeah, she would love to make gravy. I think. She likes gravy. Cece makes the wine gravy for me. She loves gravy. So I'm always like, she won't let me buy that gravy. I'm like, you know what, Cece? You can make, you can make she a gravy. She loves making gravy. She does a good job. I don't so, make anything And more. I don't. I know that I don't. I, I usually do. Okay. She's not as good. But that's not my main thing. Right. I'm the Gravy's main guy. I'm doing the main, the main dish. Main course. You, that's for the sous chefs. The, uh, the gravy. Sous chefs. You're learning. Yeah, you're learning. You're learning. Good job. Um, do you ever you ever cook in a kitchen professional? Yeah, yeah all my jobs were really? like whether it was pizza or uh-huh. restaurants or I mean, anything. Thank God you got out of that. Yeah, thank God for everybody else. Yeah, because so they for got you. the Yelper special every time. Really? Uh, no, but I did like if people pissed me off. 
Like when I was delivering pizzas, I'd like lick your pepperonis and put them back or rub your soda cap on my balls so that when you went to drink it, it smelled like my what? balls. Yeah, yeah, if you pissed me off. Soda cap? Well, no, this one fucking lady, man. It was like oh, 11 o'clock at night. Man. She called in saying she wanted a Pepsi. The slip said Pepsi. I bought her a freaking Pepsi with the thing, and she's like, I wanted to diet. And I had to go back, even though we were closed and get it. So I, I put it on my balls. Oh. And that way I know when she went to <laughs> put it to her mouth, she would probably smell like my balls. I mean, I was young. I was like 17. But it is what it is. Shouldn't have fucked I guess I'll leave you a filo for your, for your What future. am I going to do with a filo? Can day you day? make baklava with a filo? Yes, you can. Hell yeah, I'm all about it. Okay, so I'll leave one of these behind for you. This is pretty cool. To be never eaten you could hit food. someone with this. That, that's probably not the most suitable weapon is filo dough. <laughs> so here's our corn fillets. Blabo. Scary as it sounds. <laughs> yes. right, so let's get a shot of this here. Let's get a shot of that. This is what the chicken, the, 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 the what is it called? Corn? Corn. 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 Fake. Micro, it's a microprotein. Microprotein. Yeah, nobody wants to eat wherever you're working at, that's for sure. They're, they're pretty much... No, I mean, again, no one wants to eat where I was working at when I was 17. I wouldn't do that now. But I also wouldn't work at a food establishment now, so... Nice. Well, I mean, the food industry... Did you see that uh, South Park episode that the... Which one? With the... I Yelp, saw them all. all. the Yelp. Yes, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, the Yelp are special. Yelp are special. Nothing tastes better than some burgers and cum. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. But it's true. Dude, you don't fuck the people that make your food. You just don't I do it. Have. I never send back anything. Never have. Uh, you know, it was... It, I, I, and when I watch people do it, I want to be like, no, no, don't do that. Don't send it back. Because you don't know what mood that person's in that day. You're fucked. Could have been salty like the kid. Salty. Salty nuts. Salty balls. You don't you want salty balls no. on your on your. You snacks. never send your food back. You just don't do it. I, I have a hard... No, I never do either. And the few times I have, it's always been like, you know, it's fucking flagrantly right. wrong. You can't, <laughs> like, this is yeah. actually... Yeah. Like, I, I actually, you know, anytime they give me meat, obviously, I have to send it back. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't order pork. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You didn't? You know, uh... Right. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure most people... Just buckle, you know what I mean? They're just like, you know what? Uh, yeah, you, you have to. I mean, and, if you get like, oh, I ordered medium well and this but, is medium, sucks, you're eating a medium or you're a dumbass. Well, having said that, though, I watch other people. Now, whether or not they're tasting balls or not, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, dude, and that's what I'm saying. You would never There's know. There's a good, there's a good chance would, they you, might be tasting you balls. You would never know but that that they do get what they wanted. They do get that. what they wanted back. Like, yes, hey. yes. You get it back the way you wanted it, but there's a possibility that the dude here. licked your entire meat patty or, or decided to put his buns on your buns, and, and the next thing you know... <laughs> buns on buns yeah, on buns dude. on buns. You never send your food back. Oh you just God. don't do it. You just suck it up and eat it. Smoke another joint, and it'll taste fine. Okay, so now, actual broth. real chicken broth. I like that. Broth. I'm going to add that broth, broth to, to, the concoction. to the concoction there. That's Why does it look so dark? Fucking broth, man. What do you think? It's vegetable broth, I guess. It's not chicken broth. It's not chicken broth, sir. Okay, so we have our concoction here. No, it's he's not. He's not. He's actually taller than me. I think the camera angle. It does. The, the camera angle makes you look like you're. Cause oh, look. we're in a, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> getting small <laughs> there. <laughs> make you look super teeny. Yeah, because they go. Goodbye, Santa. Ooh, the massiveness. Ouch. 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 Ouch.
Should we do a, after you do this, we'll have to do a quick sponsor shout out. So. For sure. Uh, until then, I guess we can ready another dab while you're making that. Tell us, tell us about your dabs you've been making lately. So we have, yeah, we have, uh, we, the, the Skype is open too, so you can feel free to call in with any ridiculous stoner recipes that you make while you're high that you think may be a little bit disgusting to other people but you enjoy it we'd did love you, to did, did you hear what they are the in and out burger pie that that guy put online in and out burger pie oh my god it sounds like, amazing it was oh, it looks so gross <laughs> it was <laughs> literally would, like I love the most disgusting burger. thing you've ever seen but like what, what do you mean was it in a pie crust basically like Got a whole meal from there, cut it up into pieces and place, lace it into a pie crust, put french fries on top, baked in the <laughs> oven, pulled it, sliced it out. Like yes. Big, it was... Yes, big. that sounds fantastic. You're so I mean, yes. like, I, I remember... You're saying yes. Incredible posted a picture of, it was hardened, a hardened piece of ramen with peanut butter and Kool-Aid, uh, Kool-Aid sprinkled on top of it. And I'm pretty sure it was Mitch who was all about that. So it was a hardened piece of ramen, and you would put peanut butter over it and sprinkle Kool-Aid powder. What? I ask him about it. That's I'm telling you, it's gross. But disgusting. people eat weird shit when they're hungry. I saw this other thing recently, too, where they took... Um, the lady was a how to cook for like eight people for three dollars and 24 cents or something like that and it was almost all ramen right <laughs> basically like cooking ramens like frying them yeah like what is going on uh, here? Yeah, like ramen chips them, crunching them up and then adding water back and making some sort of slarpy goop and that sounds disgusting I was just like, what so you're not really on? cooking for eight people because nobody would eat that it was it, well but it was great to watch because she was like she said it was going to take 15 minutes to cook and she was done in like two and a half minutes. <laughs> and half minutes. <laughs> She's like, okay, so, and how long is that? He's like, it's been about two and a half minutes. It's like, oh, okay, well, I guess we're done then. Something's it's like, beeping. That's, this thing is uh, preheated. Uh. It's, called, it's called when an oven preheats. And heavy blunts, they're not my rosin recipe. They're not my uh, uh, ramen recipes. I think that was a Mitch recipe that was posted on the Incredible page. So, yeah, it's gross. I, I just eat ramen the way it's supposed to be eaten. So, you're moving the fake... Tofurky chicken, tofurky, whatever you want to call it, but it's not tofu. It's My, not tofu. Micro turkey. Micro proteins. Micro pro turkey. Micro proteins. <laughs> Trying to get them all flat there. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I will have to say, I, 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 I remember when the hood lab was still going around and I had some leftover, not real chicken, chicken nuggets that I had gotten for Nick and they were pretty good because I ate them and they weren't bad. That looks disgusting, actually. I mean, it looks good, but knowing what's in it is actually pretty gross, I guess. What, what do you mean, knowing what's in it? Weed? It just, I don't know. All the, it's <laughs> gross, man. Butter? It's gross. It's not disgusting. Mm-mm. So this will basically harden up real fast. So we do that. We let them sit. So we let them, whoop, we let them sit. It'll get nice and, this is the medicated part, so we'll let that, Soak in there. Hmm. And then we get this. Which is the, the stuffing. So you're putting the stuffing into. Prepping the stuffing. Prepping the stuffing. Okay, so we got these out of the way. Trash can. Boom. Boom. That's out of the way. Let's see. Need another whole swag of butter in there, too. And then we will uh, put the rest of the medicated stuff in the stuffing. Yeah, okay. So we're okay, doubled okay, up. Okay, 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 okay. So gotcha. we're doubled. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. Hey, it's all an experiment. Life is an experiment. All right, so you got You know, before I, before I got into weed, I was all about cooking. That was really my thing. Really? I was going to be... I, cooking I in I thought boats? I was going to be a chef. I thought I was going to be a chef. I thought. Thought. And then I had realized I had to learn... Uh, French and I was like, "Fuck that! This is too much work, dude." French sucks. I took it for too long and I don't understand. Well, I was gonna go to the school and it was in France and it was would have been really cool because it was like the, you know, it's it's like a precursor to if you wanted to go to like a Cordon Bleu or something like that, you know. Uh But you, but this was a much more like open liberal. It was like an art art school, so you did art 
and cooking in France in this really beautiful place in the Pyrenees. But the main focus was you had to do it all in French. And I was just like, no, I I no. lived in Holland for 20 years yeah, and I no. didn't learn Dutch. So I can't imagine believe if I went to France Dutch and tried to learn for that long. In a summer, you know what I mean? I was like, ah, it's beyond me right there. Yeah, I don't think French, that's going to happen. French sucks. There's lots of conjugations for like each word. You can say she like five or six different ways. Yeah, it wasn't just that. It was the attitude and then the whole, like, France. where am I going to go with this? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. am I really going to, this is it? So France. I changed my, my, my path at that point. No more France. No more France. Just no, no Paris. Yeah. No petty. No. But it was, you know, it changed, changed the course uh, of my history there, let's say. But I'm kind of glad I moved into that because I don't think uh, like food grown. didn't get legalized since... Uh, they didn't legalize food? No. Food? Like, food. Like, like eating food? Yeah, like, like eating food did not become legal in the last few years of anywhere in the world. It had become the biggest thing in the oh, oh, whole industry. I, I can't go around saying. and say, I cook i thought you were trying Therefore, to tell me france didn't legalize food and i was really confused yeah, about that you're easy to confuse that's part of the reason why we love you well, let's do a shout out to our sponsors huh so shout out to, to the grow. sponsors let's way start off with our number one sponsor which yeah is buddy way to grow way to grow still seven doing lo- seven oh, locations oh, oh, huh? seven where are, the, where are the seven locations uh all of them i don't know but i'll tell you that's the Your latest favorite one. one is well the, my favorite and the latest my favorite is at the 1051 platte river because it's twenty thousand square feet they got concentrate corner you got tyson working up on the desk there giving you any advice you need you got pretty much every every product you need there if they don't got it they'll get it and right now they're doing their Marion bright sale Marion bright sale lecs uh, sort of like you know if you haven't moved over to to try these ceramic metal halide bulbs yet or if you haven't had a chance to see cannabis grown under it do because you'll be impressed i mean the stuff it actually it brings out your resin that is 100 percent for sure you know just by looking at it you're yeah like, yeah, oh, yeah definitely pops resin off your plants more than uh sodiums do these prices are pretty good then right is that is that i mean that's you can prices get a, are good you got basically they have what the 315s 315, and the 120 volt for 439 315 240 volt 419 630 uh watt 120 volt 765 and 630 watt 240 volt at 699 um and then again i'm sure you can probably use our adam dunn show discount on top of that so when you they can. ask you your account, off. Bam. you say Adam Dunn Show. And you get I am going off. by the gun barrel after here. I was just there yesterday. I got to go pick up some uh, earthworm castings. Oh, gun barrel. No, I was in Platte River. I just got some snips See, and some gloves. I'm going to your favorite. Yo, you went to my favorite. Platte River has the best candy. Oh. Boom. Dog, Boom. Hands down. <laughs> hands down. They have like Kit Kats, Baby Ruth's, Snickers, Milky Ways. Uh, I mean, everything that you know. No bullshit Tootsie Rolls. No Jolly Ranchers. They had the good shit there. Go to Platte River. But that was... Uh, Again, way to grow. Way to grow. And then our number our number two yeah. sponsor and, and I guess our, our one point one. One point one. Yeah, because we don't we don't we know we can't say two. But number <laughs> one edibles in in the country now? The planet. The planet. Universe. Universe. Let's say universe. And when you're at uh, Concentrate Corner back at their last sponsor, they actually can get you an incredible extractor right there. Oh uh, yeah, right on the spot. Platte River. So, again, Incredibles, they're making uh, all different flavors of chocolate bars for med and recreational. Um, the Afghado Bar, the Boulder Bar, Cookies and Cream, the Fireberry. And they're just keeping up with the pit. With, just every talk, I look at they got something new. New. I tried the pumpkin bar finally. It was really, really <sighs> so good. So good, right? Yeah. It's it got was, that dry. It's got that dry, almost like the Afghado has mm-hmm. with, the, with, the, with the coffee beans. Right, right, right. Where like, oh, that's an adult taste. It right. tastes so kiddie. It was sweet, my like, second favorite one second next to the favorite. Afghado. Nice, yeah. nice. Um, and then, you know, I just, uh, they're, they're starting to make the, the mile higher now in 500 milligrams on the med side. So if you really have a high tolerance for edibles, you know, Incredibles is the way to go down to uh, 150 milligrams to 100 milligrams. Um, you can get them all. They're gummies and Incredibles black and yellow label extracts too hitting the market. So Got to hit um, those black labels. Yeah, My God. You got to get them. They're good stuff. Good Guaran- stuff. That is a guarantee right there. Yes. You, you pretty much know when you're opening up one of those that it's going to be a good ride right after that <laughs> and uh also want to give a big shout out to jeremy from build a soil uh our source for all organic amendments and uh, uh organic fertilizers and custom blended soils um pretty much the easiest guy to talk to also he'll get right you know if you have some issues he'll help you get to the bottom of it if you are just starting out and you have you know really coming into the organic world from the bottle newt world he'll help you ease you into that so you don't feel like you're it's daunting you know because i mean it's weird like even it doesn't matter what you how long you've been doing whatever you've been doing the minute you switch up 
it's a new learning it's curve. It's scary again. Yeah, you yeah. got it back on it. I'm, yep. I'm switching up again. I'm like, keep switching every time. I'm switching and up. And it gets scary. Yeah, it's And scary. then you get to that nervous, like, i got to start looking up stuff. And then you're like, wait a minute. Now I'm reading other people. Ah, I need to talk to... I'm like, maybe I should listen to my own show. He does all that for you, though. So, yeah, he does all the learning and trial and error for you. Oh, yeah, I know. And he's... But he's again. I think like anybody in the organic world, they understand that it's a, it's there's new things happening all the time. It's yeah. not just about going. Uh, you know, oh, this is it. There's only one way. Um, so he's all about the learning, learning and bringing in new products. And he has uh, great social media presence and the blog on their website. He has yep. lots of videos posted. You can watch him do a lot of stuff. So yep. So again, definitely hit Jeremy up. Build uh, build dot com. Com. Yep. And uh, also want to give a shout out to Mary's Medicinals and Elite Genetics for all of they they do in this CBD world, helping out kids, helping out patients all, all over the country. Because yep. with Mary's Nutritionals, you can order anywhere. Uh, you don't have to be here in Colorado. Same prices. Yep, no price you markup. Obviously, can't get the THC products, but I'm eh, pretty sure you can find your THC products wherever you are locally. That's 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 usually not the hard thing. Right, to find. it's CBDs the CBD. that are hard to get. Yep, um, and it's not bullshit Chinese CBD hemp paste either. Exactly, it's grown here in Colorado. Totally, uh, and, and grown with love. I can say yes, one hundred percent. Yes, and they do it properly. There's no, you know, last year I think they put down like thirty two hundred plants or something like that wow. outdoors, and they were, you know. Big giant holes dug. There was no. It wasn't like a field, right? Of, you know, of little right. teeny plants. No, we're talking it was massive a f- field. Ten tractor trailer trucks of soil from build a soil delivered this to their spot. I mean, that's man. when that's you have lot. ten tractor trailer trucks pulling up a yeah, soil. You're yeah. like, yeah, we're doing ten, big things. You know, triaxles pulling up. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. We're, we're, we're they're pulling off some big stuff. So um, they've got a you know great source of CBD f- directly here from Colorado. Even um, this new product, the Mary's Rescue, did you see that? It's yeah. all over the place. They even have in head shops now. If you're too high, if you're I, I all fucked up on edibles, yeah. drink the Rescue. And it's supposed to balance out your equilibrium a little bit. Um, so, yeah, you can check them out at marysnutritionals.com, marryspetshop.com for all of your CBD needs. CBD needs. CBD CBD needs. And a quick shout out to Dark Horse Genetics. Letting the kid slide one day out here. Oh, he's should yep. be down there I working. Should be down grinding I heard Tanner's right now. back. I heard Tanner's, Tanner's back. back. He's uh, it's good to see him. He's been gone for like a week. Uh, oh visiting man, family in Atlanta, everybody so. had to go home for the fam. Yeah, you know. But uh, I saw them also doing a drop of some t- of the gear that was going out the other day. Yep, they were getting out some other hoodlums. They have the uh, there's only a few available left, I think, too. The the fresh hoodlam uh, dark horse collabs. Um, so they're available on the website on Jaw Farm. Uh, along with some seeds from some pretty cool guys. They have uh, Archive on there, which is a, a new addition I'm aware of. Uh, franchise Pacific Northwest, Ocean Grown, La Plata, Jaws Gear, Mosca Seeds. Um, so you can go on there. And then we also supply them with some uh, rosin screens. So you can go on there and get your home rosin tech done. Yep. Yeah, what? So, yeah, it was very my good. Impression. What? genetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah, I, see, I can't do it. I'll get in trouble. What? <laughs> anyway, Dark Horse Genetics got calm, doing big things here in Denver. Keep an eye out for for lots of new stuff to to come from Dark Horse. I'm impressed. All right, good so job. Good job. Going, good what, job. What do we got going on the stove over here? Um, cooking up the water actually right now. So and some butter, heating that up. And now we are going to uh, we are going to throw in the <laughs> stiff chop schwaggles. Luckily, that kind of crap's easy, <laughs> and uh, we will fill the stuff. Oh, I'm going to add in the, um, I'm going to add in the medicated part. Ooh. Ooh. After the fact, we'll do that when we, when we're right before it goes into the oven. Um, so tell me with your rosin press lately, uh, what's uh, any strains stand out, or any certain, <sighs> any. any any places that you made some drops that you're just like, oh my god. Kind Love was good. And kind we're going to do another drop of Kind nice. Love. I just picked up some uh, some cookies and cream, some Star Dog from them, uh, and a couple other flavors. And we just dropped, they had a, a Ghost of Leroy uh, that was really nice. And the Chem 4 that dropped was really nice there too. Um, but yeah, no, we've been just, you know, bumping and grinding, putting in lots of work. The new, like I said, new plates are killer. So anybody who needs some processing. Let's make it happen. Here Colorado. in Colorado, obviously. Here in Colorado, we can't do obviously. anywhere else. Obviously. Speaking of, time for another one. 
Yeah, I've been. Uh, it's funny. I've been listening to a bunch of other people's podcasts lately, just to kind of yeah. kind of see. Well, Joe mostly Rogan. Joe Rogan, obviously. Uh, obviously, yeah, his pod, he's, he's got a good podcast, you know. Well, you know what I like about it is it's <clears> there's so many similarities as far as like you know he's he's comfortable in his world when it comes to MMA fighting and all that stuff because that's what he does, and we're comfortable in our world when it comes to cannabis because that's what we do. Mm-hmm. Um, but I like it because he's definitely goes out a little bit on a limb sometimes, you know, with some of the guests. And I'm not, and, and and I don't know most of them, which which makes it interesting. Right. Instead of it being like, oh, it's the same, you know, it's it's know, famous right, people yeah. that we all know. Which which of course, you know, when you see somebody you know, you click on it because right. you know that person. You recognize that person. But it's the ones that you don't know that are even sometimes more interesting. So it makes me it's fun to watch because when I'm watching that, I'm thinking about oh, this show, and I'm like, huh, I bet. That there's a lot of people actually who then do get into these because like, who yeah. knows these people nobody Literally. half the people we bring on are people that people didn't mm-hmm. know he's you know? got lots of conspiracy theorists going his obviously show. those are my favorites yeah, as you know how much you like the conspiracy theorists as you know it's come on now it's super stable it's not my fault it's super stable it's not my fault what, wow. you should say it is your fault it's the rosin's fault it's the rosin's fault good rosin That's, you blame the rosin can't handle it So, so what did you, I mean, did No, so I just was listening to Mary Crabapple episode, which you, nobody's ever heard of Mary Crabapple. Nope. Neither have I. But she was a Vice uh, correspondent and did a bunch okay. of stuff for Vice and went to Sudan and, and to some, you know, into the Syria and into places that were obviously super heavy. And super, 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 super fat or what? No. What do you fat, mean heavy? Super heavy, like crazy bad. I mean, as a woman too, you can imagine. Gotcha. Super heavy. I didn't know that was a that was a term that people used, but I guess I guess it is. What do you think, guys? With the rocket launchers, it's heavy. That's a heavy. It's a pretty heavy situation yeah. right there. Super hot. That was tasty. What was that? Uh, that was yeah, Gorilla Glue from somebody's like Larfy Trim Run Larf. It has a strange background taste to it. Like it doesn't taste like Gorilla Glue at all. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Not at all. Mm-mm. But it tastes pretty good. It didn't really look too much like really glue, though, to be honest with you. So I think the guy might have a weird cut that somebody just called that. But the weird cut. It was nice. I mean, it, yeah, like I said, off like a, it was like a nug run. Got like 18% yields off it, so can't really complain on, on that aspect. He was expecting nothing in return, and uh, he brought over a couple grams, and it, it went pretty well. <laughs> so what are you doing? What, what, are, what are you doing is now? This, is this mic on here, too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. great. Oh, yeah. They're oh, all Oh, yeah, great. Well, so I'm just stirring full up. Spectrum right I'm just now. basically putting... Rehydrating this stuff because it's uh, it's instant crap. You know, it doesn't need doesn't need much. Um, and then I'm gonna put it into there, and I'm gonna throw in the uh, the medicated stuff on top so that we don't get it stuck to the pan here because you know how that goes. Ugh, so let's see, let's, let's do a little, little steady cam action. No, oh, steady cam, not so steady cam. Well, let's. Start. I gotta get back to the screen so I can see what's going on. There we go. See, so I'm just filling it up. Perfect. Let's put a little bit of that in there. It smells good. Yeah, and then we'll put a little more of this on top. <laughs> All right. All right. And then cap it off. Seal it up. And put the weird fake chicken on. Yeah. And those in there. That's a lock. So that the locker. That locks are in there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Lock it in totally. It locks it in there. Yeah. Gotcha. And a little bit of a lock. Uh, <laughs> Bad idea. Bad idea. All right. Man, that looks pretty good with a camera. Good job. Yeah. Any award winning camera work here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So we have the Hellraiser being sealed up. There we go. 
Dun, da, da, da. It looks like one of the spiky eggs from like Mario Kart. Okay, so then. We're bringing over our pan. Our dribblings. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit. These are a little bit frozen still. So we have to wait, wait till they thaw out a little bit more. And then okay. we'll stick them on the outside here. We're moving ahead. We're moving ahead. I like that shot, though. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. We're getting somewhere. Now I can take my dab. So, how does Nick react on Christmas to, like, Santa Claus? Like what? He's actually believing. It. He's believing it right now. He's like you. He believes it still. I still believe. It. Okay. Uh, yeah. He's just like. And you. since you're like from Europe, do you do the whole Krampus thing? No. 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 So you don't, nobody like, really even. You don't put him in a bag and beat him with a stick for a couple no, hours. And nobody then, really paid attention to that whole Krampus. Thing. Krampus. No. You know they're making a movie right now, right? Or it's I actually did, out. I did see that. I don't. I can't believe it. I, I, what do you mean you can't believe it? Why? If they're actually trying to sell it as a horror movie, yeah. dude. Why? That's insane. You kidding me? Come on now. Krampus. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of interesting now, though, with internet and stuff that kids believe still on Santa Claus because you'd think, you know, with how, right? Well, when we were kids, we had no one to really. Nothing. We couldn't ask anybody. Right. Like, they would lie to you. Obviously, yeah. that's yeah. the whole point. Yeah, 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 yeah so sure, sure, absolutely. Sure. Well, no, I don't believe in Santa Claus because I'm cooler than you are. But I really believe in Santa Claus. If my mom asked me, no, it's and, and, and nowadays with kids. Being on on iPads and iPods and i everything nowadays. By the time they're fucking three years old, yeah, all they need to do is hit the wrong thing on Yahoo, and boom, you find out there's no Santa, and then their whole life is ruined. Whole life ruined. 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 What happened? Is that what happened to you? No, no, I don't really remember. I think I just kind of did the standard. Like, guys, I get it. Like, come on. But my brother. For the tooth fairy, he like stayed awake and like was trying to catch that bitch. And, oh. like, grabbed my dad's hand and it was a really? big thing. Yeah, ah, it was pretty funny. That's so funny. It was good stuff. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. <coughs> so uh I'm getting razzed for not washing my hands every time. I did wash my hands before we started, but I will yeah, continue. Shit. I will continue. <laughs> we didn't touch anything, though. This is all the stuff that gets cooked. Here. You ain't eating it. You ain't care. Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to look at you guys. That's how it all goes. <laughs> I'm going to let the kid rub his nuts on everything. <laughs> at least once. On every on every, on every gonna filet. We're going to send it out to all of you as a gift. As a gift. Nut From the kid. Everything. Nut flavored. Why don't you <coughs> toss that in the oven for like a minute? To thaw it out? Yeah. It'll help. Is that is that the kids the kids <coughs> cooking techniques? I would. Why oh, we already, it's already preheated. You're right. Yeah, so just like just just real quick. And oh, I'll... actually, this is this is the part that I, this is the part of the cooking that I like. I need, my, I, need I need is that the torch work or this torch the only one that works? That's the only one that works unless okay. you have tain. No, this works here. I have tain right here. Okay. Because that's ah, part, ah. part of my cooking is I always try to use as much torching as possible. Like like like. Well, just anything, brulee, yeah, brulee, anything, or just any kind of. Brand. And with this stuff, it really makes a difference if you just you just give it that little slight sear before you put it in the <coughs> thing, because then it's yeah. like, oh, you're like, oh shit, I forgot one. Gosh, yeah. Critical ingredient too. What would you forget? Liquid smoke. That shit is the bomb. What do you mean liquid smoke? What is? You never had liquid smoke? No. Oh, I should have brought that. Damn. I don't know what you're talking about. Liquid smoke is like what it sounds like basically instantly tastes makes something taste like it's barbecued oh really just like one drop Blip. Where, and where do you get this at anywhere really it's been around forever dude Liquids. it's like hickory it's like hickory it's a hickory smoked flavored stuff it's, i'm all about it you would i love, love it. barbecue you would love it. stuff man. you would have loved it oh well sorry no hickory but stuff. i do have this so that's good you have your brulee torch. Nice. So yeah, I will uh, give everything a little browning before we uh, before we do put it onto the actual thing. Or here, look, watch everybody. It's called washing hands. Washing hands. Yeah, see, I'm in your way. So it's just it is. It's washing his hands. Wash them. <laughs> watch. Watch me. And they're right. They're saying I'm clueless, and they are. They're right. This is completely foreign to me. Huh? They're saying I'm clueless, and it's, it's of course he's it's, clueless. Oh yeah, this is the kid. The kid is super is foreign. The kid is in the kitchen right now. You're making now. a is, turkey. Yeah, he's first never been in the kitchen this long. Occasionally, without being yelled at yeah, by mom because she's sure. trying to steal cookies or something. You're right. And now you're making a turkey out of a 
spaghetti squash. Well, you know what's funny is this is a little bit like, I don't know if you've seen in China where they have fake eggs and shit like that. They have fake eggs? What I mean, mean, unbelievably weird. Like, if people, I don't know, look it up, it's crazy. <laughs> they basically build eggs in factories there because it's cheaper than having an actual chicken fucking farm. Yeah. And they, they create these eggs... And they basically have like the yolk, and then they take the yolk and they keep sticking it in to the to the thing. It's it's nuts. Artificial bird eggs. Yep. Like this. Yep. That's them. Weird stuff. Let me tell you. I don't understand. Like, what is it though? They make it out of just weird ingredients. I don't know. It's bizarre. Like, so this has something about something a little like that, except that I get scared of. And the weird part about it, they sell those as regular eggs when you buy, like if you go to a restaurant there and you order an egg, they'll sell it, they'll give you that. And you're just like, really? Like, <clears throat> that's it right there. The last picture was the one of them creating it. That's him creating it in a bowl. Like, it's weird. Yeah. Very, very strange stuff. Pro chicken <coughs> eggs. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy them on Amazon. There you can buy anything on Amazon. Oh no, that's wooden. So. Okay. 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 That's okay. still fucking gross, dude. Fake eggs. Well, it doesn't seem necessary. Well, you don't eat scrapple, do you? But you know, I, scra- eat, I eat, you eat scrapple. I eat eggs. But you don't eat scrapple because it's meat. Oh yeah, I don't eat scrapple. Scrapple's the shit. Well, man. scrapple's just the end of everything, right? Yeah, it's pretty much just <laughs> like pig liver, pig heart. Oh yeah, dude. But it is, it is good fucking shit. I'll tell you. Uh, there's, there's be a, here, here you go. There's this thing. Burn my hands live on TV. Yeah, grandma's boy style. Huh. See, that helped? Yep, yep. Look at that. It yeah. It's ruined, man. You ruined it, bro. Ruined it's almost there. Okay, so then let me see this torch. Is it as far as you can go? I can bring it over here. I can go far. Yeah. Can it go. So what I do is like kind of burn like a leading edge here. Because you know it's never going to get cooked uh, like with a flame or anything. So normally they brown up, but since it's inside the inside the phyllo dough, you'll never get that. So I always like to give it just the tiniest edge. I mean, because technically you could eat that without cooking it, right? Yeah, it's it's. I mean, you should, no, you need to cook it. You do need to cook it because it's got um, egg pro- egg protein in there too. So I would say you should you should probably. Uh, Oops, that was a little hard on that one. <laughs> a little hard. All right. Nap still a little bit frozen, so <laughs> we'll flip those over. Flip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You need a catchphrase on a cooking show. Yeah, you gotta have a catchphrase. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I bet you dogs ate are going nuts. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Yes, guys. Sorry for the dead time. I was just reading some comments there. I wish I was on hoverboards. It would be very much more action-packed. I'm surprised the kid doesn't have a hoverboard here. Nah, the dogs don't like it. Oh, uh, the dogs. Dogs are not. Hey, did, did, did I notice that bike got one sent to him anonymously? Did you see that? No. Got a hoverboard sent to him? Yeah, it was kind of weird. He's like, hey, thanks, whoever sent me that hoverboard. I'm like, what? When does that happen? Pretty cool. What are you doing now? You're walking I'm around? Filming the, filming the thing. You're filming around here? Yep. Good job. So, what do we got to do with the fucking thing? Oh, the fucking thing. Okay, the next thing we have is the feel of doll. The you need a cutting board or something? Yeah. Cutting There's a big nice. wooden mat right behind you. You never work a 
Steve logo before. No. That's it. No. Cool. Can you make croissants out of that? No. Why is it different? Baklava is a croissant with with cinnamon. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's not that. Um, this is pastry. This is pastry, right? So this is like little thin pieces of pastry. So the reason I thought about this one for it was I was like, huh, I got to create some skin. Because the whole oh. thing about chicken or turkey There's is the, the skin. skin part, yeah. yeah. So this part, we, uh, you wrap around the we wrap around the outside of that, and we throw even some more butter on top. And it kind of just all melts together. And then that kind of gives it a nice coating. Okay. So, yeah. That's the Greek-Irish combo. Right? So I'm going to leave this rolled up because otherwise it'll dry out too fast until I'm ready with the other ones. Bam. So, kid, you never cooked nothing in your life, huh? No, I cook lots of stuff. I'm just, I'm just being... Besides ramen noodles. No, I cook lots of stuff. Okay, cool. Tell us tell us your favorite recipe. Some Philly cheesesteak thing no, or something? No, no. I make a really good Hawaiian Alfredo. So you make, like, a homemade Alfredo sauce. But if you like, like, Hawaiian pizza, you add, like, fresh pineapple juice, fresh chopped pineapple, and, like, you know, you cook a ham and you cube the ham up and you toss that in. And you have some nice Hawaiian Alfredo, and it's bomb. Hawaiian Alfredo. That's good is the stuff. fucking weirdest thing I've it's ever really heard. Weird, it's, it's really weird, but it's good. Really, really I, weird. I promise you. Really? Everyone's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then I make it, and they're like, fuck. So is Mitch really not listening to the show? Probably not. I'm going to call him. I'll call him right, right now. You're going to call him? Right? I'm going to call him, and we're going to put him on, on, this, on the speaker. That guy. I don't know what he think, who he thinks he is. I don't know. All right, Mitch. Mitchell Shinasa. And I feel bad I was supposed to hang yeah, with Dr. Hands Mark hands when I was yeah. home. Wash hands again. <laughs> Announced. What's up now? Here we go. Who's that? The key. Oh, you're calling him? Cool. Let's hear it. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what's going on? Are you calling me on the air? Are you watching the show or not? What's up? I'm watching the show. I'm in the chat room. Yes, I'm watching the show. Oh, good. What, name, you, what, what, what name, name are you in the chat room? room? What are you fucking trolling us? Well, I'm the Adam Dunn show in the chat room. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh. Everything that the Adam Dunn show saying that you guys aren't saying, that's me. Oh, oh well, we're not paying attention to that kind of stuff. We're making a cyber turkey. Did you see we actually pulled it I, together? I'm watching it. I'm watching it last <laughs> show. I was watching it on my phone until you just called me. Okay. We All weren't right. sure. I thought I you were... I don't know if you saw the video of Mike Tyson on the hoverboard. I did. I did. You're lying! If you were watching, we talked about that already. <laughs> you fucking liar! I just tuned in. I just tuned in. Uh, just tuned in. Uh, we already mentioned the hover. That was our news, news, news. Hoverboard. It's Mike Tyson down. That was <laughs> a commercial break. How are you making a phone call during the show? <laughs> That's part of the show right now. It's just part of the show. Uh, am I on the air or just your side of the oh, conversation? Oh, no, yeah, they can all there? hear you. No, they can I think all. so. Oh, I that's great. So. I hope yeah, so. Yeah, they can hear yeah. everything you're saying. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I'll just chat with everyone in the chat. Yeah. Well, that's good. Chat gang. Chat right. gang. We'll go back and hang out huh? with your family. Any, uh, so anything? Any, well, what's I'm going? not watching the Cyber Turkey. I wanted, it's coming together. It's coming together. It's coming together. It's, it's coming together. Um, so how is East Coast? What's going on? How, how's, your, how's your family? It's good. It's really foggy. It's 70 it degrees, us. right? Well, it was. Now it's not. It's getting cold. It doesn't Good. know what to do. But right. yeah, I spent Christmas on the beach. So that was cool. Typical typical East Coast thing. Normal, normal Christmas here. It's on the Jersey Shore. Christmas on the Jersey Shore. Oh, my God. Stay in Jersey if you're going to talk like that. Oh, you're going to come back with a uh, thick accent, right? That's the idea. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're back from the Jersey uh, Shore. Body spray. Some tank tops. Uh, fake tan. It's all Jersey now. Nice. Tan, gold. Some boat shoes. What are they? What are the boat shoe brands? The uh, the the fuck, God, who makes those boat shoes? The the, the super, uh, st- oh fuck, I don't remember. Oh, the ones with the brown ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like moccasins on them. Yes, but they're boat <laughs> shoes, and there's a specific brand that uh, makes them. A specific uh, douche in Jersey who wears them. Douche brand. Douche brand. Oh, I feel like those things are very Jersey. Ah, uh, they are. According to the kid, they are. They right. are. Yeah. They sound like more like uh, New England kind of thing. I can't believe yeah, I can't exactly. think of it. That's a Boston. That's a Boston. I know what he's talking about. That's They're very Connecticut. Connecticut it is no lots of yes, and yes, because we know someone from Connecticut who wears the Mitch all the time. So we, that's true. We do. So uh, yeah, I managed to get here not too too late because we already planned an hour hour late because of the, this cooking episode. 
my cooking episode requires much more setup. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I just tuned in, kind of. Uh, I actually was just uh, going to the bathroom and checking Facebook, and then I noticed that someone had uh, Spring Hill had posted the link, and I was like, "Oh shit, they're live, cool." And you were impressed that we were in the kitchen, right? You were like, "They did it." I, 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 didn't, I, knew I you almost pulled a kid. I almost pulled a kid. I was like, you know, I got to the first Safeway. They didn't have the corn that I needed, and I was like, really? Am I gonna just? Like come in and go like, yeah, forget about it. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. The kid always does that. No. That's what that's kid style. Like, where's the rosin press? Come on, where is it? Smash I trash. can't. I'm not allowed to bring it. You should have done a rosin panini press something. Rosy panini press. Yeah, yeah. Like, press, oh. press up, press up the panties in the rosin press. Or press up some filo at least. We should press everything in a rosin press. We should just press the tur- cyber turkey in the like rosin rice crispy treats. Yeah. The whole cyber turkey in the rosin press. Pressed cyber turkey. Yeah, that'd be a whole new thing. That's good. That could be a whole new thing. So uh, I'm glad you're watching the show because we were thinking you had abandoned us forever. That was pretty much what I. Yeah. I gave up on you. Yeah. I was looking for a new co-host. But now you're good. Oh, no, no, no. You got the kid. It's actually pretty funny because the kid is like PD but better. Hey, what'd you get for Hanukkah? It's, it's, it's actually really awesome to watch you and just you and the kid because it it's like old school ADS but notch up. What'd you get for Hanukkah? Did you get a, Wait, doc- did you get a did Dr. Dreidel? Where'd you, did you get a Dr. Dreidel for Hanukkah? What did I mean, you Hanukkah was before I left, man. Hanukkah like was before last week's episode. What did you get for Christmas? What, what did you get for what Christmas? What did I get for Christmas? You doubled up? Did you double down? Did you get like double yeah, down? double down. I always double down. Why do so, you think I play the game this way? So you get Christmas you presents too? What did you get for Christmas? Yes, I got Christmas. I mean, I got like shirts. Shirts. So like adult Christmas presents. What's that? Like adult Christmas presents. Like nothing fun. Nothing fun. That's, that's, that's cool. All right, here comes the that's critical. Awesome. I'm going to do the critical. Right, uh, we have a critical corn stage right now. filet placement. So right, we're going to hang up on you. I can watch you guys. I'm going to take it on Let's go. Let's All right, okay, bye. See you later, Mitch. All right, so call you back on your line, though, kid? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Okay. All, All right, right, I'm going to watch the critical stage. All, All right, right, bye. Critical. I was what? tuning in. Hey, did you see the Mike Tyson fall? Uh, you uh, weren't tuning in, you liar. Lying bastard. What a little liar. It's okay. It's good when you can judge when you when you know your own show yeah. inside and out because you're the producer. Yeah. Because you're the producer. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is a critical stage. Not really. No, actually, the critical stage I would say would be attaching the legs on the side because that's where it always goes wrong. But we'll get to that when we get to that. I can take my headphones off too. Nice. Much easier. All right. So we're gonna figure this thing out so that it's looks the most because it's all about the food should look good and taste good it shouldn't just be one or the other well i don't know if it tastes good don't look good i really don't give a shit that's because you don't know shit about food <laughs> so place the fillets accordingly try to create like a pseudo breast at the top here and I try to have a little bit of spikes coming out because I'm going to put the phyllo on it and I need it to grab onto yeah. the phyllo. So, let's see, I'll place another one around here. And another one around here. Houston, we got a problem here. It's breaking down. No, we're never going to make it back to Earth. I think I'm okay. We yeah. fixed it with duct tape. Duct tape? Yes. You won't eat meat, but you'll eat duct tape? Yes. Okay. All right, and then we create the legs on oh, the outside. Uh-huh. So that'll have to... Uh, get to in a second I'll have to add some extra spikes this is where it gets a little crazy and technical first I want to wash my hands again (laughs) because it covered it all up Sing the Side of the Turkey song too. Like, side of the Turkey song. Yeah, you gotta sing. We need. I mean, we need an Adam Dunn show cooking segment song, like a theme song. Cyber Turkey, Cyber Turkey. New studio is gonna need a new theme song. Cyber Turkey, Cyber Turkey. All right, I'm gonna change. Let's see. I'm gonna change the angle on that one. I think to that way. Change the angle of that one. 
to that way. There's no right or wrong way to do this, I think. <laughs> okay, so let's figure out where the legs are gonna be. So, hmm, actually, I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing a difference. I'm seeing a change. All right, that's better. And then, balance. Okay. You're in awe right now, I can tell. Yeah, I can you're in awe. You're like, oh my god, I've never seen anything that is so complicated. I'm so excited to eat this fake turkey that takes more effort than a real turkey. Of course you are. Yeah, let's get that little angle there. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Boom. All right. So what I'll do now is get the filo record rocking and rolling. I need more butter. Moss butter. All about the butter. That's why I knew this would be a good uh, edible thing, just because if there's so much butter in it, it's got to assimilate pretty fast. So what we'll do is we will put the pan back in here. So the si the actual corn I think it cost uh, about four bucks. So okay. eight bucks worth of corn. Five bucks for that thing, this, that, and the other came up to like twenty-four bucks. Right. Yeah. So not bad. Huh. Three bucks a person. No, that's not. Terrible. Not including the weed, of course. Right. So, so from a, from a consumer point of view, it ain't too bad, you know. And the good, and the, I'll tell you, the best part about this is everybody gets the exact same piece. There's no like. You don't get that tense moment of, I want the best piece. Oh, you took my piece. Dark meat. Oh, like, you, I don't like the dark meat. So, yeah. and they don't make a dark meat version, which kind of sucks. So I'm trying to figure out how to create the fake dark meat thing. Mm -hmm. But I've got a bunch of ideas for making this better. It's just, uh, I've been telling Mitch about it for so long. I felt I had it. And then, of course, he didn't show up. Yeah. You bastard, Mitch. You're such a Mitch. Such a Mitch. And f All right, I'm going to eat it. And if it's good, I'll eat the whole thing. Really? Oh, I'll take you on that one. Butter. So the butter's melting. Butter's melting. So now all you're going to do is, is make the skin. Going to make the skin. Kind of shape it a little bit. Yeah. Put some more butter over but top. I should have bought, because you probably don't have a, probably don't have a basting Like a brush. brush. No, it's tough. I have to use. I may have a paintbrush. Brand new? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't need to use. No, no, no. Dog Maybe. hair, dog brush. You got a dog brush no. I can use? Old dog brush. An old dog brush? No, I'm just no. kidding. No, that's all right. I'll use a paper towel or something like that. I'm just, I'll dab it. I'll dab it with a paper towel. Paper just, towel have to do. It's gonna have to do. It's gonna uh, have to do. Unbleached, of course. Okay. No colors, no prints, no floral prints. And then how long does this have to bake for? A half hour? About a half hour. A little less. And, and so, you know. And then you'll be able to just cut right through the entire thing? Like no. This is the beauty of it all. It's just. So you just eat you, that you, you, piece. And then you pop that off, scoop out the stuffing. And if you do with the spaghetti squash and with my. You don't eat the actual Italian, piece of squash. You can, of course you can. If you cook it long enough, that's the thing. If, what. What I do originally was pumpkin. And pumpkin's really good because you do like, because I kind of like, I feel more like, oh, I can scoop right into a pumpkin and eat right. that. So, good. so that's the original technique. But pumpkins are so big and or so round. Right. They don't really, so the spaghetti squash got a better shape. But this has that spaghetti squash quality, which you have never experienced, which is the. Now, can just any fake chicken work? Or is it, um, it could, except for the other stuff's got soy in it. I don't, really, I don't like to eat a lot of soy. So. And and they're not as this is like the only one that makes a, a fillet I just, version. I just don't know how you're doing it, man, dude. You miss out on so many good foods, like a, you do too. a steak.
steak. You miss out on good food too. I, but I'll eat that food though. Nah, yeah, but you miss out because you don't care because you're not thinking about it because you're sure. only thinking about your steaks. I don't know though. <laughs> steaks are pretty bomb. It's okay. I'm not worried about it. I mean, I think everybody. What it really comes down to is your blood type, which is kind of like I, n- I never thought about it. But I don't know what blood type I am. Well, you should find out because that's actually what how you're you should be thinking about your food because is because of your blood type. Why? Because that's what you're made out of. It. That's what you're most important. So certain blood types are like more. They need meat, for instance. They can't live with on a vegetarian diet. Some do. So. Huh. Mine in particular is, I think I'm on the right diet. It's O negative. I'm the most common. Yeah, but you can give blood to anybody, right? You can give blood to anybody, right? Exactly. Pretty cool. That's, yeah, I guess. No, no, no here's the question. Blood, if you're into giving How blood. much blood can you give before you're not allowed to give blood anymore? Blood just regenerates itself, right? Yeah, I think this is like, you know, whatever, a liter a day or something. It's like you're, you're only right, allowed. Right, but. But you can't give all your blood. No, it would be bad. That would no, be bad. no, that I'm would be a saying, bad idea. That no, would be no, a bad no, I'm idea. I'm saying like, you, it, if I gave a liter of blood today, yeah, a week from now, I'd have that liter of blood back in my body. Something like that. Because it would produce itself a new liter of blood, right? Sure. It's not like I can. You can give ten liters in your lifetime, and that's it. No, you can give plenty as of many blood. as you want, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> we are blood generators. Yeah. How crazy, how crazy is that? Whatever you're doing is gross. Lots of butter. I, it's called. You want something to scrape the butter? Yes, out the I do, my friend. You're you're on point today. You are like a, a proper assistant. This is dirty scraping. No, this is all clean, bro. Right? Yes, it is. That bottom's a little bit. <laughs> it is not clean. No, do you have a um? No, this is clean. Do you have a baking thing? No, you don't. You don't have a spatula. That's what this, it is. Oh, that, that's perfect. There you go. Perfecto. The kid comes through. In a pinch. With an Emmy Award winning spatula. Emmy Award winning spatula. 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 I hate when people say spatula. 1,785 milliliters. What's that? How much blood you can give. Is that from Mitch? Spring Hill Jack. Oh, Spring Hill Jack. Good job. Thanks, Spring Hill. It's a lot of blood, dude. What is that? That's not a lifetime. You're talking about in the perch. Per- no, I guess a day, probably. How much did you say? 1,785 milliliters. Okay. Think so about that nutri- nutrient-wise. Think about how much fucking blood that is, dude. Well, Holy shit. How much is that? I mean, think of a 1,000 milliliter fucking... That's a liter, so... That's a fuck ton of blood. Fuck ton of blood. It's almost two liters. You're, you are like a mathematician. No, I'm just not... I'm thinking about like... Actually seeing that. So it's like a half blood. a gallon. It's like half a gallon. Yeah. 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 You can just yeah. dump a half a gallon's worth of blood out of your body a day and be totally all right with it. I don't know. Yeah. It's like, is that lifetime or is that? Yeah. Like how that that can't be. No, that is. You not can't lifetime. give. You can give that in a damn sure you, you cannot give a half a gallon a day. No, not a day, but but at like a time, at, a time. at a time. And Mr. Springhill Jack obviously knows how long it takes to regenerate since he's. Knows those facts. All right. Here Jack said it. You bought that shit. I got some magic beans too. I think he's full of shit. I think he's lying. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense, but that's a fuck we'll, ton of blood. We'll try it with the kid. Kid, let's go give as much blood as we can until you pass out. That'd be a show. Seven hundred eighty-five milliliters. I said that's a fuck. That's a fuck ton of blood, dude. You can't give that much blood and not go into shock or something. It's a lot of blood. Mitch knows. Mitch, Actually. how much blood can I give in a day? Hold on, let's get a close-up shot of you. Yeah, let's do the uh, close-up shot of you skinning. It looks so gross. <laughs> Why do you think it looks <laughs> gross to you? How could you have ever worked in a kitchen? If that every... paper towel and what you just put on the top of that look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> so we're dabbing. We're dabbing the chicken. We're dabbing the... The pseudo turkey because we don't have any spoon. We don't have any. So what the hell is that shit? It's just a pastry. Yes. Yeah, what they make baklava from? Yes. So basically, I'm gonna wrap a couple layers of that over its fake butt just to get you excited. <laughs> Kid is like, oh, it's his butt. Let's see. This isn't the best filo either. There's good brand phyllo. Mm-hmm. This one's not it. 
<laughs> this is Kroger brand? Probably everything King, there is Kroger brand. King Soup brands. Everything there is Kroger brand. Let's see, where is my Baba? So you need a lot of butter. Yeah, because this is like when baklava, when you make baklava, it's just butter. You know, it's almost pure butter. Every layer has butter. There's like 20 layers of butter. We should have an episode, like a heritage episode day. Yeah? Yep. You do Philly cheesesteaks? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. That's it. Lost signal. Lost signal? Yeah. Messy, messy. Yeah, brush would have been a good idea. Yeah. It's sort of a, a finesse you need to. But it'll all come together. All right, let's see. This one's a hard one. Yeah, it's gonna get me high. Yes, yes. Nice and high. I can't believe this feel is so flarpy though. Falls we can nuke it. No, we're not going to nuke it. <laughs> we're going to divot the burrito roll. Burrito tech? Yeah, burrito tech. We'll get rid of that. Burrito tech. Should we just wrap a piece of paper towel in there? <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> no, it looks messy. But don't you worry. When it bakes, it all probably looks. It all comes together. So much filo dough. Actually not so much. I'm only putting two layers on there. So like I said, baklava is like twenty layers. Oh yeah, really? So from a filo point of view, it's not so bad. I can't believe I have to eat this. You're the only one. No one else has to eat it. Just you. I told you I'm cooking this for you, kid. We'll see how it tastes. All right, I'm gonna do the last wrap on this one. And then I'm gonna do a couple of tuck-ins. Nip and tucks. Crazy questions? Uh, no, I'm just. Is it done? <laughs> Almost. Trying to get this my day ever in. Right. Be 
people are upset that there are not cannabis related topics. Well, technically, because this entire thing has weed in it. We got AJ rolling through in a little while, too, to keep our cannabis topics. And if we got questions, you can give us a call at yeah. uh, 720 310. And what is TADS? TADS, whatever TADS, TADS is. Whatever the hell that is. So you can see your, your girl made this place all clean, and look what I did. Yeah, now it's all dirty. It's okay. That's what I do. We'll do cleaning again. This is how Adam cooks. And by wheel, I mean... You that's how I this is it. almost like, you know, that thing on, online where everybody goes like... <laughs> you know, and they're making a cyber turkey, and the guy just like slams everything. Have you ever seen that? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's awesome. No. Come on, it's awesome. I've never seen it. This guy's great. All right, I have to say the phyllo is not my favorite version, so this turkey's not going to be as beautiful as my other ones, but it'll come together. Um, let's take some of this broth, stick it around the bottom so it doesn't dry out too much. Missing the money shot. Now it bakes for a half hour? Yeah. <laughs> bakes for a half hour, every signal. Oh, oh, money shot, missed. So uh, as we get our signal back, turkey is in the oven. So now we can... Uh, Dab away and fucking taking some phone calls, hopefully, for some from uh, of our listeners. And uh, people wanted to hear you tell stories. Yeah, and if we want, I mean, give me, throw me, throw me some, uh, almost like a stand up comedian, you know, throw me something and I'll, I'll, I'll return it with. Like Don Rickles? Yeah, exactly. Except exactly. you won't insult people. I won't insult you. I'll just tell Unless you, you want to be insulted, we can make that happen. But, uh, yeah, I have to pull a story and think of something. I don't know. That's the hard part, I like guess. Give me that. Give me the subject matter, besides just weed, of course. <clears throat> um, so I think we got everything there. Let's put a timer on it. What time is it now? Uh, it is 3.09 p.m. So people are asking, no, I am not still using an Arbor Press. Um, I use that at the house every now and then for some of the home presses, but no. In the lab, I am not using an arbor press with the new plates. It is something much larger, um, and it's cool. It's cool to have one. Um, they haven't given me my trophy yet, so I'm a little ton pissed. Pressure. I can't. I'm not going to say how much tons of pressure. It Ooh, it's, it's proprietary. It just gives out too much information. But but no, yeah, they need to they need to get me the trophy. But it was uh, so we can start using it have for you advertisement. Seen that company Carver, I think they're called. Mm-mm. No, this is one company on the West. I mean, unbelievable. What do they make? I think it was called Carver. They do exactly what they do. They do that. They do exactly. They build heated presses professionally for fifty years or something, and they are mm. sick. I'm I think it was called it Carver. I'm pretty sure it was Carver. called. Carver. I'll have check to double check. I saw some link the other day, and I was like, "Wow!" Now that is exactly what we need. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, Carver heated presses. Up, oh, phone's dead. Up, oh, phone's dead. Phone is dead. You um, have a charger? No, I do. I'm gonna go get it. Put it on a charger because you're probably gonna need it. Yeah, I absolutely. can tell. Yeah, I can tell. But Since uh, you've been using it the entire show. We probably well, it's need the it. it's the chat the entire show. Oh, yeah, you need you need it for the chat. Here, you can use mine too if you want. You have the I'll go get the charger. You have to entertain the people for the people. Entertain. Okay, so let me see. Let me get to my uh, live thingy there, and I'll see what we're all interested in. Okay. Boom. Oh, close the oven. Come on now, doggy. Yeah, cooking with the dogs in the kitchen is always a always a fun always a fun thing. Um, it's incredible. My eyes are going so bad now. I can't even see my own phone. I'm like, ah, which is a nightmare when you when you hit mid forties. All of a sudden, it's like. So I have to hold the phone farther and farther away, and then it's so far away I can't see what it says anymore. So bear with me. <laughs> I'm like, what does this say? Um, but like I said, I've been doing this cyber turkey since I lived in Amsterdam, uh, and I would do these for people like Soma and people like that and just kind of blow their minds. I think it's part of a, you know, if, if you can 
it's always sucky when you're on a holiday. Everybody else has got turkey, and that, that was my main drive to do this. Was like, I want to have the big centerpiece deal going. Plus, I like to cook, so if it works out well, um, yeah, this will turn into could turn into something. You never know. Let me just throw these away. Damn. So we, uh, we're going to have a guest um, pretty soon coming up. We were planning on having them last week. They're, um, these guys that I met at the show last time in D.C., which were doing plasma water. Uh, and very similar to what two, our friend Two was doing back in the day with his uh, uh, electrifying the root zone, but doing it aqueous. So, yes, aqueous. 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 Um, Pretty cool product. I hope we, we're planning on getting them in here like mid January, probably in a couple of weeks. And also, we're going to be moving to a new studio soon, too. Heaven. We're looking at, um, I, I keep saying two weeks, it's been going on for like months. It's been two weeks for the past like six months. But I think this might be the two weeks. The two weeks? I think it is. I think we're at the, the two week period. So, uh, since my eyes are so bad, you have to read all these questions and stuff because I can't read. I can't even see things. Right. Anymore. I feel like I'm, especially when I have gross stuff, like I pick up any kind of bottle of nutrients, guaranteed I need my glasses to read what's going on. In there. So let's see. Any books Adam could recommend for learning about breeding? Well, the obvious Marijuana Botany by Robert Connell Clark is the, the first number one piece of literature you need to get. There's been some new ones that have come out. Um, I've seen some other breeding books. I mean, the main thing about breeding is a lot of those things are just the same. It's the same information rehashed, and it's like comes down to there's you know there's some other advances and stuff because now more people are breeding, um, and so people are showing their techniques more than they were before. But I haven't really seen anything that's been so complete that, except for that book. And then Rob has another new book called Ethnobotanical Cannabis something, but it's also a killer book. What about the Cannabis Aficionado's Handbook? That book is so small, you'll never find it when it's, you need it. It's no. all it's up there. It's up there, man. You learn a lot. Well, actually, he's more on the on the consumer side. Consumer, consumer. But that's part of the breeding too. You know, he's understanding what you're breeding in the first place. Because right. I think that's the, the going to be the future now. Is that people? When I, I had a, I kind of had it easy when I was in Amsterdam because I was one of the few people there that was smoking pure weed and like living like just doing what we all do here everybody there was breeding but smoking tobacco spliff man spliffs with, with hash in it you know what I mean that wasn't even so people weren't advancing their their craft so much but uh AJ Sour Indica what's this gonna if AJ Sour is an Indica did the Sativa version is that where the Sativa come, version comes from there isn't it TV version that I so I hate this. Well, it's it's a poly hybrid. The thing is, it all hybrid. Right, right now, we're in this zone where it's hybrids. You know what I mean? Everything. And so you have to like really search high and low to find a pure indica or pure sativa. I mean, it's just really hard. Even in the places where they came from, most have been like what Rob Clark calls they've been Dutchified. You know, and and that's because Holland it was so prevalently having uh, uh, availability of seeds for so many years that there was no reason to uh, like continue growing your local stuff that you were growing because you had this other thing that was faster and bigger right. and more vigorous and more like what people wanted. Now, as we all sort of mature in this industry, we all kind of want those things that are gone. Of course we do, you know? You ever, well, AJ so, brought me some sour diesel the other day that was- It was fire. It was really good. And it was, he had just come back or something or there was- Yeah, I guess he just came back from New York, but it was, uh, it was really good. I mean, even the cheese that he had was fantastic, but the sour deep was on point. Right. It was, it, it, you know, the only issue is, though, like I had, it just worries me. Like I had somebody else bring me some sour deep a couple of weeks ago, and it smelled the same. It had that really strong chemi smell to it, but it's so hard to tell now because is it just a good chem or is it sour deep? Can't tell. I can't tell. It's a it's a lot to do with uh, you can probably tell. It's also AJ a lot to do tell. with where you where you were when you tried those things for the first time and like yeah. what what level of uh, 
flavor and, and, and even batch to batch things get you know like AJ will tell you you know it's like it's different growing in the summer than it is in the winter obviously right. in New York especially because of the conditions are so the, the weather conditions yeah I mean I it's uh, I remember when I first used to get it my cousin went to Hofstra on Long Island and he would come back and he would bring me bags that were you know fucking 65 70 75 bucks an eighth sometimes and it was just so good and it was so good it was lime green and uh, I loved it. And yeah, I can't find it anymore. Was that too low? Oops. Below temp. Below temp. Below I have, low to, temp. I have my email. I just need to get it set up. I've just been slacking. I need to get a new one. Did you see those portable emails that they have now? They're pretty cool. They're pretty, yeah. You just like fucking. It's all about battery power and all those things, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but it, it looks like a pen though. Yeah. They're cool. I like them. So we have until 3.30 until that is done then. Boom. Perfect timing. And then we'll have a little time. Hopefully we'll have some people here. <laughs> if not, it'll just be us. Yes, eating fake turkey. Fake turkey in it. Um, let's see. Here, you got to keep reading for me. Can't more? read. Can't read. Can't read. I can't read. My brain. No, uh, it just sucks. can't see anymore. What email attempts do you use? What about O Genome and Dave Richards Genetics? Ooh, that's a that's a. Um, well, O Genome, we guarantee that will be done this year. It's just been a real hassle again trying to get all the samples. We're trying to get samples at the same time so that they're not all uh, misrepresented by bringing in stuff that some stuff super fresh, some stuff not older. We just have we've just had a re- more. It's been mostly just a logistics problem. Also, our guy, our main guy that's doing it, he moved his lab from south to north uh, California, California so a lot of that as far as Dave Richards genetics um, I'm I finished out a bunch of the Bab OGs and a bunch of the Bab diesels and I found, a, I, I found it was very variable and he actually was just here recently we went through them together um, got some fucking fire out of it though I tell you I got some really nice uh, purple pheno OG <coughs> sort of dominant stuff that I only had three uh, females to work with of the OGs, and I had like about <coughs> 15, to maybe 18 total of the Bab Diesels. And I found the OGs to be more interesting. Okay. Um, he gave me some of the Dave's OG seeds, but my dog ate them. Well, there you go. You'll, You'll never know. And I think uh, Nick was harvesting some of that too. So there should be, I mean, everybody who was here got those beans should have harvested right around now and or a little before, a little after now, if they put them in the ground. And uh, uh, this person just says a story about Adam on LSD in Holland. It's pretty vague. A story about yeah, it? A story. Not the story? A story. Um, There's more than just the story. Sure, there's multiple fucking stories. Um, yeah, that's it. And then uh, e- e- email temps, right? Six forty, <clears throat> all day. Well, one of the times I was yes. there, <clears throat> one of the f- like when I first moved there, actually, um, <clears throat> it was like I think it was like right after Queen's Day, so like maybe and beginning of May, um, summertime. You know, walking around and. Amsterdam's such a different place. Day to night, tripping to not tripping, high to not high, all those things. Like, amazing what you'd see. Um, so I'm with my friend. We're walking around. We're just, like, right downtown. We got weed on us. So we're, like, you know. But it's getting kind of late. It's, like, about 11 o'clock at night or so. There's not many shops that are open. I'm like, okay, let's go. We'll go sit down and have, a, have some coffee or tea or whatever. Tea. Smoke a joint. Tea and crumpets. So we go in this place and it's, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Um, Any Day, right? Any Day is the name of the coffee shop? Yeah, and it's actually turned into a really good shop. It Can used you get to, weed there? Yeah. You can get weed at every coffee shop. Right? Yeah, well, if it's a real coffee shop. So we go to this place called Any Day and it's like in this little side alleyway. It's a small alleyway, tiny little place. And the guy, and it's like, it was one of the few times that I got a real aggressive attitude from a coffee shop owner okay and it was based i mean it was because we were tripping first of all so when you're tripping you're always highly sensitive to everything right but the combination of being highly sensitive and feeling like you're being like either it was like kind of a situation where we sat down we ordered coffee and he i ordered coffee ordered tea and when i got my coffee it was coffee grounds in water 
<laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm tripping balls, and I'm looking at these coffee beans <laughs> in water, and I'm questioning like, whether whether or not it actually is I'm coffee like, Are you beans. Fucking kidding me right now? Like, wait a minute. And I look back at the guys, and it's like I can read their mind. You know how it is when you're uh-huh. tripping, you can read yeah. their minds. And you're like, who the fuck are these guys coming into my shop smoking their weed? Like, not because if you come in and you say a coffee and a tea, you're actually going to give them like five bucks, right? But if you come in there and you say, oh, I need some weed, you're going to walk out with 20, 30, 40 bucks. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So he's looking at me like the last customer of the night. Are you fuck? He's thinking, are you fucking kidding me? Here's yeah, your a lot fuck- of shops don't let you do that, right? Smoke your own weed. You no, have to you buy should, No, you... They legally should not be able to do You have to buy something. Right. A drink. Right. But they can't <clears throat> tell you you have weed there at their shop. But they definitely have the attitude like you should. Yeah. And a lot of people... It's like we talked about earlier about not complaining about food. In Amsterdam, you don't complain about your weed and you don't you know what I mean you're just like oh I feel happy that I can actually do this so right. people don't complain too much yeah um, but anyway then my friend's tea everything was wrong like everything was just blah, bubbly and weird and trippy and we ended up not staying at that spot we ended up like taking off but it was just one of those weird things where 100% could read this guy's mind he was 100% pissed off we were smoking our own weed Plus, we have good weed all the time. So then it's like, well, wait a minute. And it stinks. And everyone's they have better weed right. than we have. Yeah. They're going to fucking blow our cover. We have <laughs> shitty weed. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? But uh, it was one of those nights. And I was with a friend of mine who um, is an artist, a guy named Rodrigue. And him and I left that place. And it was a... It was definitely like the beginning of a crazy weekend for him. Like he... This kid never took drugs at all. And I never, and I get, you know, <clears throat> when you're doing, when you're tripping with somebody, that's when you find out the real person. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I never knew you were completely insane. Yeah. And or violent. <laughs> and or <laughs> weird. Completely fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. And so my friend Rodrigue, this kind of sent him off the fucking edge. Like, we, we tripped there. We only did like a half a hit, like that day. Yeah. It was no big deal. It was like a half a hit acid. Mm-hmm. No, nothing. Right. And, and then, like, the next day, I get a call, like, oh, you know, Rodrigue didn't come home or something. What? Wait a minute. I left him. And then he uh, he apparently, like, really went on, like, one of those benders where you start giving everything away out of your pockets. Here, have this. And, like, giving total strangers your wallet or, I don't know. He gave, he gave all his shit away. He was walking down the street with one shoe and his, some artwork because he was an artist. And he was dragging this piece of painting around, and he was walking around by the damn square. He got picked up by the police. So they called his dad. What happens when you get picked up by Amsterdam police? Like, well, it's that's not a crazy like jail thing. here, right? Well, that's like, the crazy thing about Amsterdam is that, as cool as it is, you know, it's very cool, cool place, um, but it's still kind of like you could get lost in the system there really fast. And that's what I figured out with this whole it's thing was that this kid was tripping balls and he had like you know kind of lost his mind obviously gave yeah. all his stuff away <laughs> I, i'm not sure exactly what happened because right. he was gone nobody knows yeah. but um his dad I, apparently i didn't know that his mom was clinically insane okay so you know here i'm giving an acid to some kid i don't know that his mom's insane this sparked in his brain something which made him lose his fucking mind right his dad didn't want anything to do with him he said Phew, Leave him, take him. Yeah, you know what I mean. To the state, like so go to this, to this, you know. And they took him and put him into like a low impact uh, mental institution, like right in the center of town. Very weird, right near the Vondel Park, which is like the main Central Park kind of thing. And we found out where he was at and went to visit him. And he had only been in there for 24 hours. And in those 24 hours, they had given him so many antipsychotic drugs. And they gave him so many things <laughs> oh my God. that he looked like he belonged in there. That's terrifying. Like I walked into the room and he literally, you know, I'm still coming down on. I'm not even coming down because it was only half a hit, so I was. Right. Not, I mean, I had to get right. a whole hit at the end of the time, but I, I still was like not believing what was going on. And I came in the room and his like quite literally like his whole arm was up here, you know, and his mouth was his, <laughs> his tongue was swollen. He couldn't talk. His arm was up here. And he was like, and I was like, what the fuck the happened? Fuck what happened? happened to you? You know, and he couldn't talk to me. <laughs> and then the craziest part was the guy comes around to give all the pills out. It's like, and that guy rolls into the room and he's wearing a Metallica t-shirt, right? The guy's wearing a Metallica t-shirt and he's giving everybody their drugs for the day. Here you go. You take this, you take this, you take this. 
you take this, you take this, you take this. And he gets over to my friend, Roderick, and he's like, you take this. You take. I was like, whoa, 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 why are you giving him all these things? <laughs> oh, well, he needs, this is an antipsychotic, and this is an antispasmodic, and this is an anti-this, and this is an anti, you know. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He, he's super sensitive to drugs. That's yeah. why he's here. Yeah. He took a tiny a little bit of drugs and he lost his mind. <laughs> now you're giving him all these heavy duty fucking benzos and stuff. And it was like, so they were like, well, you, if you want to, you can uh, take Check responsibility for yeah. him, you know? And I was like, well, yeah, I will. Well, let's do it. You know what I mean? And so we had to go and get permission from his dad to have a meeting with the doctors and then have the doctors all sitting around this table. And then saying, like, hey, you're going to take responsibility? I was like, yeah, we will. And so me and my girlfriend at the time took him back to our house. And he had to get him off his drugs. And he went through total withdrawals. Like, in a 24-hour period. Right. That's how yeah. strong these things were. Jesus and he Christ. lost. And he was like, it was like Altered States, that movie. I don't know if you've ever seen that. But it was like he really went through, like, a metamorphosis where he was like, he didn't know who we were. He thought we are trying to kill him. He's trying to fight with us the whole time. It was nuts. And then, and then on top of bad. that, we were trying to get prepared for... We were, it was like... Uh, it was actually right before Queen's Day, not right after. It was right before Queen's Day. And we were trying to get prepared for it. And I had bought all this weed to roll joints. So I was going to roll pure joints and then sell them on Queen's Day or whatever. And then he had this idea because we were going to do um, tulip joints, right? Yeah. So I made a sign that said, wrap tulips around my tulip, right? And... Yeah figured that that would make sense right <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah. so i'm rolling tulip joints i'm in holland i figured oh yes it's very and while we're trying to do this this is when like the acid was still in his system and where this is before where he went and lost his mind completely right. but he was like rolling in the weed like like rolling around like we're in a circle trying to roll these joints and then he decides he's going to roll and he's rolling it all and just <laughs> was like ah, what are you like, doing yeah so this kid had lost it pretty hard but we ended up taking him back to the house he had to go through like full withdrawals get him off of all these things and to this day it's still like it's weird because you know he's like if we didn't come and help him I don't know what would happen he could have been stuck in that mental institution for the rest of his and life and he was such a cool guy <laughs> and such a cool and talented artist that it was like it was you know crazy it was like one of those things where it was going to be like, and it was the first kid that I met when I went to Amsterdam. Like I went to Amsterdam, met him, hung out with him. We went out, he's into bikes and stuff. So we were, um, he fixes bikes and builds recumbents and stuff. So then I came, went back home, came back and that all happened within the, I, was, I had only been in Amsterdam for six months at that time. So I was just like fresh in town, you know what I mean? And it was like, wow, you could really get lost in it's this gone. thing. gone. And it was just like, you know, even though everybody there is loving drugs and taking, the, they're so used to it, you know what I mean? They're so used to like, just uh, throw them in the thing. Right. It's no big deal. We've had them, you know, so many people move over there and they're all addicted to whatever and they're like loving it and they're fucking buying pills and, you know, and it was such a different thing because it's not over here, like over here, it's all farmies, you know? Right. And over there it was sort of, but they were like, there's a thing called Pill Bridge in, in Amsterdam where everybody would go buy their pills. And it was right outside of where I worked at Sensi Seeds. So I could sit in Sensi Seeds and watch people on the pill bridge trying to score, you know, pills or whatever. And they're all junkies, so they're all, they all got that thing where they're standing and they're, like, nodding out. <laughs> they're going down. 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 And you're, like, watching them, and we're like, oh, he's going down. And then he comes back up. Like, he's all the way here. He's alive. And then he comes back up again. Like, Holy shit! How does he bro. do it? Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Is like I think, and to me, quite honestly, if you let people do drugs, you will quickly know you don't need to do those drugs. You know what I mean? It's when you don't know what they do that people go and do them because yeah. like, they don't realize. Like when you tell people, like ten years ago, fifteen years ago, before oxy's and everything became really popular, you tell people heroin, they ooh heroin's right. bad, <laughs> right? But you say oxy's, and everybody's like, oh, everyone's just okay because it's a pill. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hey. It's cooking away in there. It's cooking away. I love the uh, the doghouse security here. There he is. Dangerous animal over here. That's how we do the security on the top eight. Camera's there, so just so you know. Oh, all right. We all right. are live. Live in the studio. In the it, it, kitchen. See, now it's something. Everyone's like, we're going to talk about weed. I'm like, oh, I got AJ coming. Yeah, He's going to pull out some weed. and then Smoke some weed. Here's my cyber turkey in the oven there. 
cyber turkey in the oven. Wow, what is that made of? What is it made of? Watch the show. Okay. <laughs> it's cool. It's mycoproteins. Microproteins. Microproteins. So it's a mushroom. It's basically. Uh, oh, what have we got here? Very well, very well manicured. Oh yeah, some of it is. Let's see fake turkey down here. Hi. 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 Amelia. Nice to meet you. What's up, dude? Is that your vicious dog? Yeah, he's a beast. He's not vicious, he's just over friendly. Oh, okay. That's a cheese thing or who's that? That's a sour. That's a sour, is it? What's this? That's cheese. It's real. Cheese is really fresh. It's like stinking up everything. I was gonna say it's overpowering everything. It's overpowering, man. So uh you are back home? Yeah. For holidays? No. I was here. You stayed here. You're a dedicated Coloradian. Coloradian. Yeah, I'm doing all my holidays here. Really? Anybody coming out for you? Or uh, you just Amelia came out from New York. Nice. And uh, yeah, my mom came out for Christmas. Well, I got a house in Boulder. Uh oh, question, question. Sour diesel, Linda Curtis, the cheese. Woo! Questions! Oh, we <laughs> it's a hybrid. That's what I was going to say. Come on now. Oh. Yeah. It's Dominant. Question. It's kind of a tough one, though. I would almost say it's sativa dominant on his looks, but it's got that indica quality. You know what I mean? So it's yeah, but it's 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 definitely both. You know, I mean, it's tranny. You know, it's not a pure sativa. <laughs> it's a tranny. Oh, it's a turkey looking. Take a look. Ugh. It looks like a big turkey. Yeah, except for if I just tucked that in the front, you wouldn't even know. What's holding it all together? Like toothpicks, glue. Toothpicks. Yeah, yeah, glue, epoxy. Heavy epoxy. No, please, these satay sticks. Mm. Secret of all corn recipes. So, uh, you missed out on the 70 degree weather in New York. How do you feel about that? <laughs> well, You're like, wait, I moved I to Colorado. I moved, you, here. you moved to Colorado, and then New York is like got the warmest it's winter warm ever. Right yeah, well, I went home twice this fall, so I got to experience a bit. Summertime in the fall. There. That's a chunky ass sour bud there. Indica tree. Is that why you brought the big fat one? You were like, Yo, don't bring the wispy one. Don't, yeah. don't bring the wispy ones. Don't no question it. So, uh, Pinsky, where's he at? Where's Pinsky? He's been laying really low lately. Really low. Yeah, he's been wondering like family time. Oh good. Oh good. Yeah, no, we see him on his uh, his uh, social, media? social media. Of course, we know where he is. We just wonder where he is. Haven't okay. seen him in the scene. I thought I thought he was mad at me. I was like, "What's your problem, bro?" And he was like, <laughs> no, dude, I'm just hanging out at home. Yeah. There you go. Worry about him if you don't hear from him for a while. Maybe stay in touch. That's the key. Um, so what do you, what else you've been growing lately besides this uh, cheese? I know you're like you're all about no, the cheese. I like the classics. You like I got the cheese. cheese. I got sour. I got ninety one. I got RBK. You know, I like the classic strains. I'm not growing anything new. Or, you know. No skittles. No skittles. <laughs> Skitt no skittles. Oh, skittles. No. Get to say it like a Russian though. Yeah, Skittles, dude. Drives me nuts. Yes. Um, no, it's good to. So I think that's the. It, everything comes around in circles too. You know what I mean? If you stick to one thing, it'll all come you back start to. Start trending you. again. Yeah. yeah. You'll be hot, but it'll be a short time. You won't trend very long. That's the thing. It, <laughs> it's it, those those windows become shorter and shorter because well, of course. Like the stuff that I'm working with never goes out of style, right? Like the '91 never goes out. Right. right. It's always. It's like hash plan. A lot of these strains that are like that. Who's that? Oh, there's Is that Ross? Yeah. Ross Rob? Maybe. Um, yeah, it's in, you know. I don't know. It's more like construction it's workers. Thing with, uh, construction with workers. Sour, right? it's yeah. Like, it doesn't go like sour. People still want it. Still love it. People still love sour. It's true. It's true. Um. I feel the same with the sage. I have to kind of like keep going on that top of that because it's like one of those. When I was back in Cali, and I checked out this uh, the uh, Big Sur Holy from Coastal, I think it was, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh my god!" It really it was like blast from the past from our original sort of stuff that we selected from. It's like 
bad. That would be the one that we. That's where our path started. Yeah, you know, these what I mean? are comfort strains too. You mm-hmm. know, it's like you have their staples. You have to have them. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'll, I'll try new stuff. And you know, this time, next time around, I'm putting in a bunch of new things that I've never done before, like tangy. You know, I want to try. And, and uh, you know, I'm doing a cherry, a CBD strain. Of course. Are you going to be doing any crosses with these ones, or are you just trying to play them with the first grow them out? Figure uh, it out. I want I, I want to have a playroom to do breeding, but I just don't have that low tree at the moment. Yeah. But I will soon. I will soon. I have a lot of seeds from you know, the last two decades that you know, they need to go. To they need out. to. They need to go in the ground. And obviously, they need to come out. Obviously. So. Yeah. And, uh, Did you any skiing this year yet? No. I'm supposed to go to Jackson Hole to, uh, in a couple weeks. For, uh, for a meeting. You're more like the hanging out in the in the in the bar next to the skiing or you ski? I didn't know no, you ski. I'm staying home. He's not skiing. He's not <laughs> skiing. I, He's say. I just I'm like to throw it out. I like to see what it is. I have a skier. I, I am a skier. I need it. I have a skier. Let me tell you. I ski. <laughs> I haven't had you to go this season. You and Rick. Ryan. You and Rick. Yeah. Hit the slow. Rick likes to ski, right? Rick's a big skier. I don't think Rick likes to ski. No? Rick likes boats. Okay, I thought he was a skier, too. Rick likes boats. You can ski from a boat. He likes water sports. You can ski from a boat. Yes, that is true. Yo. Genius. Check as the, as check the, as it sounds, I just the I prefer key. to ski in France. I mean, if I'm going to go ski. Because that's oh, we were, oh, we were, we were, oh, like we were just talking about France. It's more civilized. It's, uh... We well, don't know what anybody's saying, so you can think of it. You, you can imagine there's cool conversations, and I'm just like, but no, but then at that point in time, bro, yeah. no, that's like all the mountains out here that are filled with, with French people. All the no, all there's so many there's, well, foreigners, yeah, but they're foreign from all over the place, and you can tell, like, oh, yeah, this person. You know what? Skiing is so expensive in America. I don't think Europeans. If you get the Epic Pass, it's really not that expensive. I mean, it's only like well, seven hundred bucks. Afford it. Up to a point. I mean, now the dollar is cut. Kind of and you can go to France. What they charge for a lift ticket for one day. Yes, it's ridiculous. Yeah, you can get a lift ticket for a week yeah. in France. Okay. And I for mean, what they charge for like a, a moderately nice hotel one night here, you can get a chalet with a servant <laughs> in France. Awesome. Ski in, ski out. So that's why I prefer to ski in Europe, just because it's more civilized. and it's. Uh, I mean, I've only been to Europe eight night. times, so I haven't really had time to go. And the lift system is much more advanced. The doors just open up automatically for you. You don't have someone checking your, your tags. Uh, like that. You hate Heat, people checking. Little heated cars that you can smoke weed in. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, all right. I haven't done show France. Yeah. Feel the trip. edition. <laughs> yeah. The broken leg edition. Yeah. Who's first? The kid. And that's why I don't do it all the time, you know, on special occasions. <coughs> probably me no but probably wouldn't be me because I'm still younger than all you old dudes so you guys would probably break shit first because you're older it's we true though wanna, we just want to get you fall break, once and you're break, done I want to get down to the bar <laughs> and smoke a lot of weed have an excuse yeah I want I want to ski very slowly stop and take pictures so can I smother this fake turkey in like barbecue sauce just yeah. sm- I don't know I'm going to be able to eat it any other way you don't even know what you're talking is about. It stuffed with something too. Is yeah, it's stuffing? got stuffing in it. Mm-hmm. It's got weed stuffing, I think, though too. Yeah, medicated stuffing. I'm a little worried. Sounds really scary, actually. Everything is medicated except for yeah. We'll except see. for it. But it's not too heavy. I mean, I only put an eighth in there, maybe, or something of oil. Yeah, but so an eighth of oil is it's okay. For, it's a lot, right? Yeah, a gram is like a thousand milligrams. So if it tests at fifty percent, that means that a gram is five hundred milligrams THC. So if you put an eighth in there and it was only 50% worth of shit, you're still looking at fucking, you know, 1,500 milligrams worth of shit in that little fucking turkey right there. Don't say that's light. That's a hefty turkey. And you figure that shit was probably more like 70% THC. Mm -hmm. So there's probably, you know. Pounds. Pounds and pounds of weed in that turkey. Pounds in an ounce. There's like two pounds in every ounce. That's how we roll. Um, Big time. Big time. I'm glad glad people showed up. I was thinking like... When I first got, I was like, you know what? No one's going to show up. Like I, This happened to me for actual Christmas where my cousin was supposed to show up. So it was only going to be four of us. And I was like, i got to do a cyber turkey just to test it so I can keep, on my, keep the program rolling. And no one showed up. So I was like, fuck, i got this, all this turkey. But not medicated, thank God. <coughs> that, that'd be the worst. So hold on. I want to show you. So is this? What is this? Because I just don't believe it, dude. What? This, so turkey, Tanner sent me a photo of you. Yeah. <coughs> Fucking cutting a turkey or whatever. Mm-hmm. Was that a real turkey? The, no, I think it was a side. Oh, I don't know about that Here's one, dude. Side turkey. Let's see. 
Yeah. I'm gonna check did right now. This? Yeah. Is this like your thing? This yeah. This is the last one I did. Look. It looks Sweet. a little more realistic, right? That looks way better, right? Like, that does not look like that. Look, there it is, right there. Bam. That was my last one. This is what I, I wanted this to be the intro. We can see it. You can see the leg state, right? Burrito leg. Got a burrito on the leg. Is that a burrito? Well, okay. kind of. A filo. Filorito. It was a filorito. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that was my last one. This what? one. What? Is that a real turkey? Or that's is that a, a real turkey. No, that's a cyber turkey. That's a, that's a cyber turkey. That that is... Yeah, that's cyber turkey. Dude, that doesn't look... I would eat that. That lo doesn't look like that. Okay. <laughs> that's scary looking. I'm nervous, man. I mean, I'm going to eat it. It's just because the filo didn't really stick to that one as good as... Um, I'm, really see, that's what I mean. Like that turkey. doesn't look like what was in there, does it? No. Maybe it'll turn into looking like that. Yeah, that's how turkeys are. They don't look great when they go in the oven. It's when they come out of the oven. That's oh not going to look like magical. that. Burnt. Okay. If, if it looks like that, dude, then I'll, I'll admit Save that I was wrong, burnt. but it's not going to look like that. That looks really nice. Is it the filo, though? Is it because you got bad filo? I got bad filo. I got hey, the good filo, so you can filo work with it more. Burnt. I don't know. I get, the like, one see? I got, this last that one looks I came, good. it would fall apart nice. this way. You know? Really that doesn't look like that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yes. Sorry. Is, I just that, have a, is that like... This is the preparation of the last one, so you can see. Let's have a kitchen full of phyllo. Yeah, so... Is and, that foamy stuff supposed to turn into the skin part? The phyllo stuff? Yeah. The phyllo is the skin. So, and what is it? A big piece of tofu? It, no tofu. <laughs> There's no... It's all... Uh, it's oh, all he doesn't like tofu. No, I don't like tofu. Oh. oh man. No soy. No soy. soy. Too much estrogen? Yeah, I'm not a big fan. What is, what's in it? Pro... Estrogen. No, what's in what's in what we have? Pro. It's pro corn, but it's a. Uh, what is it made from? It's from mushrooms. But the, but what what's the what's the word? Pro Microprotein. 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 Like Micro. Mycorrhizal. Like a mycorrhizal. Like it's small. Microprotein. Huh? Is it? It's, it's ninety like eighty eight percent like myco proteins and eggs. Grown into a little to into a little. I mean, and then the dude won't go through the back scanner at the airport, but he's putting his food in the microwave. See, it doesn't look like that. But it might melt over. It might be okay. It'll be fine. Don't doubt me. Don't doubt me. A little late for that. Yeah. Doubt it. Too late to doubt First time, it's got to look like a turkey, right? Second, the third time. Yeah, you're like, yeah. It just yeah, has to, like, resemble yeah, the thing you made the first time. Mm -hmm. right? I just show so photos. Just for the photo. I show That's photos right. of the yeah. other one and go, like, this is what it really should look like. Yeah, this is, this is what I'm doing. Oh, see, this is what I can do. I just didn't do it this time. Mm -hmm. So, exactly. You got anything to drink in here? I think I got some water. You got water? You think you got water? I think I might. I mean, we might have just run out, but we're quite literally going grocery shopping after the show. Yeah. That's what you are having show. You go after the, the show. show. Yeah, you go, you go shopping for the cooking show after the show. After the show? Yeah. Exactly. I'm gonna, you don't need to do it. That's ridiculous. If this was a proper cooking show, you'd have one finished already. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is not a proper cooking show. But I do not have that. Out of bottles. I got up last night, like emergency situation. Gravy? Nah, I'm just it's a mushroom gravy. I'm throwing it. I like this jar. It's glass one. This is nice, huh? Yeah. It's very nice. It is. Original hand blown 1820s. <laughs> Crate and barrel. Crate and barrel. <laughs> yes, sir. Where's your Heinz? Who? Your Heinz. Already uh, there. Already done. Already toss it in. I missed the Heinz. You missed the, the toss in. <clears throat> you missed the, the physical toss in. <clears throat> so, uh, what? So you're not working with nobody right now, huh? You're just nope. free. You're free I'm form. Free agent. You're free agent. Yeah. Yep. Six figures is what you're looking at, right? Minimum starting. Well. Don't want to brag. Brag. I don't want to brag. Six is like a couple years ago, right? <laughs> Moving on up. Oh, actually, I got an interesting story for you. What's that? Now your family. We had this discussion back in the day about old world families and stuff. Do you know the Mannixes by any chance? The Mannixes? Yeah, have you ever heard of the Mannix family? I don't know why, are they related to the Mansons? No, because it was like, I was talking to this kid and it was weird because he was talking to me and it was almost like I was talking to the same story that we had back in the day. And I'm like, 
is everybody in Ireland like tell their grandchildren the same story like you know what your grandfather let me tell you what he did and then you're like wait a minute they couldn't all do that so if they did all did it <laughs> uh, this this so uh, apparently the Mannix family is a real powerful family that's also like oh, I'll keep an eye out for them because this March uh, will mark the 100th, 100th anniversary of the Irish Rebellion uh-huh. and so my whole family will go over to Ireland and they honor my grandfather and nice the ceremony and all that so well, apparently this... Yeah, maybe I'll bump into them. I think that, yeah. It's with an N, not with a D. Mannix, yeah. Okay. yeah. Charles Double. Manson's original last name is Maddox, I think. Oh, yeah, no, D. it's a Mannix. That would be bad. No, yeah, that's, that's definitely not, it's not, not, not the association you, you want to make. Oh, yeah, you're just like your grandfather, the, the Manson family. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... I, you, wrong way. Wrong well, way it's a small country, so it's not uh, surprising that, that you would want to talk to somebody else about the same story. No, it was interesting. It was the like same same story. I was like, I got to get you guys together. Going to get you two together. Yeah. Well, so, are we doing a special actually for St. Patrick's Day this year? Oh, we have to, right? Well, I mean, it's, it's my birthday too, so we have to. Is it on a Wednesday? It doesn't matter. We'll do it anyway. We're doing. We'll get it. really drunk, <clears throat> and everyone will make fun of you. No, it can't just be me getting drunk. That's not fun. It's and yes, it is on a Wednesday. Is it? <laughs> I told you everything is on a Wednesday next year. That's one thing about the Adam Dunn Show. We're going to have every holiday. 420 is on a Wednesday. Really? Okay. I mean, so it just seems like every, like, because, you know, this year we're, like, right before you. Know, like, today's the 30th. We've got one day before New we Year's. We need to do something big. Like, we need to do a live broadcast somewhere and have a bunch of people come out and, a- and actually have, like, some do something fun. Have, it'd be a, a big I, thing. I'm putting that on your shoulders. All right. All right. I'll do it. I'll do it. you are our official... St. Patty's Day. I'm gonna get a midget. Can I get a fence. can I get a midget? Yes. You have to, right? You have to get have a, a little midget. suit. Of course. A pot of gold. For sure. I'm Great. down. I'm never Darn. you can never say if you ask me about midgets, I always say yes every time. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said no to a midget when it comes to like Can I bring a midget? It's like yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course. That was Why my not? other favorite. So how much longer until I'm going to get to try this fucking... Why? Well, you don't want it to cook, too, don't you? You don't want it to be, like... I, like I said, there's nothing in any of that. You can probably eat it uncooked. You probably could. <laughs> but let me tell... We'll, we'll tell them another story. I'll tell a midget story. Midget story is always good. Midge? I think I already told the midget story, though, didn't I? The Mitch? Midget. Midget story? Oh, with the... I, I, I yeah. remember hearing you tell a midget story. Yeah. I'm assuming it's the same probably one. Probably the same story. It's Can't probably the same stories. one. Midget stories. Yeah. Yep. It's fun, though. What are you doing for New Year's? It's the Snoop Dogg major story. Yes, I, I, so I, that was I've it. told the story. Yeah. Told yeah. it all. Told yeah. it all. Yeah. 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 Huh? Snoop's got a midget? No, he <laughs> thought he had a midget, but I failed. I basically had one lined up, <laughs> and then it didn't show up. I had a like, midget. Was I going to do a dance routine with him or something? I had rolled a giant joint, and I was going to have him bring it out to him on stage oh. and it was going to be the awesomest thing ever and then I blasted that midget because it was my birthday that I gave him an ounce joint and took photos of him earlier and so he had this one ounce joint which made him look like the big you know look at the biggest joint ever <laughs> but, and he was English you know and I still have him I got him on file ready to go whenever I back in, in England or something I'm going to give him a call and be like alright you got to make up for this because he's like alright I'm like I'm picking you up at 7 o'clock and then I got there and I was waiting I calling and calling and he finally got on the phone he's like Ugh, I'm sick I'm like what he's like that joint just no dude you're ruining me and then I had to go on stage and bring the joint to Snoop, and it was fucking weird. And it looked a lot smaller, and it wasn't as cool. That was not, yeah. It was, and he was thinking about, I mean, the midget was coming, and I came, and it was like, this is not cool. You know, he gave me the evil, he gave me, like, stink eye. Yeah. Like, while like where's my midget? Joint, like, where's my yeah. midget? What the fuck? <laughs> and I had to deal with that. But the cool part was... Is Should like, improvise. Like, no, he looked, I did. I went on stage and lit it up for him. But the funny part was is that in that moment, which is the part of the story that I think was the, the most unique part or whatever that makes me always think about it was that I had that weird spiritual thing when you're like staring at somebody like you're that close to them and you're staring at him and he's puffing so hard he's like <laughs> he's mad at me so he's like <laughs> and I'm lighting this thing and then all of a sudden everything fell away like and all the sound stopped and I was like boom 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 but it was just weird I was like oh no and then it, and I was like he was like <laughs> and then all of a sudden it like broke out and I was like ah oh. 
I was weird, dude. It was like it was just you know like you hang. I like, wouldn't say it was like hanging with the Dalai Lama, but it was kind of like that where you're like talking to somebody and all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, something's happening. <laughs> That's what happens when you talk to the Dalai Lama. I think so. I think if you talk to the Dalai Lama, you, the first time you talk to the Dalai Lama, or the second around, time you, you talk should to be. Him? If you're really talking to him, I would assume that you would get into some sort of a trance in your mind. If you didn't, you're, so you're like, have, you have so no you... spirituality in you at all. You're like, okay, so whatever, dude. Do you like subways? Because that Jared Fogel guy, he's kind of a douche. And they'd be like, oh yeah. Yeah, great conversation you're having with the Dalai Lama. Why right would you bring up Jared Rapist Fogel to the... Because I'm saying, if you're going to meet the Dalai Lama, Dalai you're going to be talking Why would that be the first thing? You're not going to get in there and talk fucking bullshit. Hey, Dalai Lama. Hey, where's your hoverboard? What's See, up? See, this guy likes to <laughs> diddle himself to little kids. How do you feel about that? Why would that be the first thing that you would say to the Dalai Just Lama? Just talking random shit. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> shit. But in general, you wouldn't talk about hoverboards with him. You wouldn't talk about bullshit. you talk about something cool. He's going to go to jail for like 15 years for that shit. The, the Dalai Lama? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Jared Diddler. Jared Diddler. Yeah, Diddler Jared. Everybody has been diddling recently, okay? Jared Diddled. Why are you bringing up the diddling? The dad from Seventh Heaven diddled. Bill Cosby diddling. Diddling? Everyone's diddling. I need a big spoon. You got a big spoon? I don't know. I, need, I, need a I don't have a ladle. I need a ladley thing. Dreidel, so. dreidel, dreidel. Ladles, got, no ladles or dreidels in this place. Or spoons of any sort. Wow. This is all I have. It's like the biggest spin that I have. <laughs> all right, gotta go in. Gotta go in now. Maybe on there. No, no, great. Maybe do some uh, marinating. Marinating. This is what I'm eating. What the fuck is this? So eat a piece of this right now. It's just, it's just pastry. Looks like paper. Oh, that's the secret, dude. We need to just start pressing rosin on Philo. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about any paper contaminating no. or. Nothing. All right, it looks a little bit better. All right, okay, look, it looks a little bit more realistic now, but I'll nice give you angle, right. Maybe. I'll give you credit. It smells sagey. <clears throat> Gotta throw some sage in there, right? Whoa. Losing, losing section. Losing the skin. Losing the skin. Now, how often do you only make this for holidays and stuff? Yeah. So you don't make this like, oh man, it's Tuesday. Cyber turkey, Cyber turkey night. <clears throat> no, but I think if we were to uh, maybe for 420, we could do a cyber turkey. Since it's our holiday. 710, 420, I guess there could be two cyber turkey holidays. 420, huh? Okay, we just added two more cyber turkey days. So that's four. Cyber turkey is a year. Like a cyber ham, though. Uh, I tried last year. Ribs, actually, maybe, the, ribs. The, Actually, last year was the only year I didn't do cyber turkey, and it was so depressing because I just like kind of was like, you know what, I gotta have something, right? And so I went and grabbed, went to Whole Foods, and I was looking at their, you know, they have those loaves and stuff. What loaf? They do like a turkey loaf, and they do a. So they have the same idea as this. The company makes a thing already. called cyber turkey. No, called turkey roast or oh. something like that. But it's it's like a big tube. And they put stuffing inside of it, and you cut like rings, and it's really extra dry. And you're like, this is not. <laughs> it doesn't look like a turkey at all. It looks like a sausage. In a yeah, tube. not really feeling it. No, no. legs. You know, <laughs> so anyway, I went. And there's this new company that I saw that made a huge mistake. First of all, if it says made in Taiwan, it's probably not good. Don't food. eat it. Yeah, and I was like, oh wow, look, fake ham, right? Oh, I was like, no. And I got this thing. And when I, got, I pulled it out, I was like, this doesn't look right. You know what I mean? <laughs> she got to spam at that point. It would have been better. Like spam. Big, like hot dog. It was just weird. Dude. I love it spam. was so weird that okay, we put it in the oven, we cooked it, and then it was like, couldn't really do anything with it. It didn't have any texture beyond like, the tubiness of it all. So there was no like, oh, it's like how that got something. It's a little bit more, whoa. But it was like, and then when we got it on the plate, <laughs> we got it. Everybody else had all their food out. And I was like, I went and took the first, like, oh, like I took, it was so bad. It was so vile. It was the first time I ever brought food back to a, to a rest of a supermarket. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Well, how can you sell this to <laughs> your population? Like, all right, everybody, everybody take it off your plate. <laughs> Put it back in the tube. Put the tube back in the box. Did you seriously? And I, drew it, and I was like, I am going there tomorrow. Went straight oh. back to Whole Foods and was like, 
Ew. Ow. This is like, <laughs> this is like cat food tube. It literally tasted like the texture of cat. Like had that texture like what you would imagine cat food. You ruined somebody's day by doing that, by the way, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It was fucking... Disgusting. Ugly. It was the most disgusting faux... All right, so how come... Ever. All right, so... How come you can't eat like farm-raised, free-ranging chicken that died naturally? <laughs> like yeah, waiting, for real though. They're waiting around. Like, like, okay. <laughs> you're against you're against like GMOs and artificial bullshit. So if like farm raised free range chicken that has no GMOs, no altering to it at all. I don't believe it. And then you can raise it yourself in your backyard. If I raised it myself, I probably would do it, but then I'm you not would doing be able to eat it. it. I'm not, okay, yeah. okay. That's okay. the whole. That is my right. main point. Is but that you eat eggs. You eat innocent baby you what could be baby sweet. chickens. Yeah. Yeah. You will eat their eggs. They're not now, if that chicken dies, if that chicken dies, can I have it? Yeah, you want some dead old chicken. That's no, I don't want it old. I want when it dies. I want it. Well, right you want away. a young, fresh, like as soon as it dies, healthy chicken that just died randomly. Yes, I want to skin it and eat it myself. Electrocuted by the fire. That's like, what you should do. Struck by lightning. Skin it right there, bro. I eat lightning struck chicken. I eat lightning struck chicken. Stab it in the belly and gut it out. You find me a lightning struck chicken, I'll eat. What? What? I got it. though. I can't. We can make that happen. All right, look, look, look. Lightning strikes a chicken, and you're standing there watching it, and you don't. Eat it, you're, you're a fucking idiot. Right. Yeah. You stab it on one of those lightning poles that you put at the beach to make those cool glass sculptures. Yeah, and then and you then you let the lightning stab the pole, it cooks the turkey, and yeah. you have it like on a fucking rotisserie style. You put a couple of them on there, the little mini ones. the 4th of July because then you could get a fireworks show for free. Boom! Done. We're going to the beach for the July. Have a lightning storm on on, on the, the beach th- on the 4th of July. Got yeah, it. Happens really, all the time. We can make it happen. <laughs> happens every time, every 4th of July. Yeah. And then you'll eat turkey, though. You'll eat chicken. I'm yeah, about that. That's not I'll happen. do whatever it takes. That is like, but no, my I I don't believe it. First of all, and I, like even on the even on a nice farm, it's pretty gross. But like, <laughs> like desert <laughs> island, gonna eat this chicken, or I'm gonna die. You're eating the chicken. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. No, there's some people that be like, no, I'm just I can't do it. I'm gonna die. Gonna, like, if I'm gonna Stupid. Die, I'm gonna eat something. I'm gonna eat the fucking chicken. Would you eat a person? Uh, person you don't know. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know about knowing something. <laughs> Listen, I wouldn't eat you. You have to eat the no. What but about like, Pinsky, would you eat? Uh, Ooh, that's crashes right. crashes in the mountains. And you have to yeah, eat someone. Eat everyone Pinsky. votes Pinsky. He would be the one you'd vote anyway, just to to get it. Would on. you eat him? You'd move on. He'd have the most meat on him. It would take. Yeah, yo, we probably taste pretty good. I mean, if you're thinking about think it, so. I think we would. I think if you got a strong you know person, a bunch of toxic bullshit is inside of you. Not you. Yeah, I mean you. All of us. Alcohol. No, not you, dude. Yeah, you eat good shit. Yeah, but I got alcohol. You're farm. You're as farm raised as it gets. Well, not really, but close. You just put everything in the microwave, so that. Oh, we gotta do that now, buddy. I'm gonna do these Idahoian fucking. Idahoian. 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 I gotta do those. You still have to make the goddamn mashed potatos. They're we instant, have. Dude. We have. We have like 15 minutes left in the show. No, we don't. It's four. <laughs> we have an hour left. We just started late. An hour. We start. Yeah, yeah. The show usually ends at three. It's four. We have till like 4:25. I have to go. go. I know, I'm cool with it. I just That's have to go pick things go. up. I got, right, I got so work. Business. I don't normally make Idaho and potatoes. So what does it say here? Two Water and milk. Milk? Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. And butter. Butter. Well, butter, obviously. Uh, oh, yeah, butter. Water. It no smells really good up in here. It smells you, good? You've never made instant it mashed potatoes No, before? I've never made instant mashed potatoes. You I mean, want to make them because you're an expert? No, I don't want to. About the I have Hungry Jack mashed potatoes. Those are probably better. News. What are you talking about? The Hungry Jack brand is better. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's get this show on the road. So then, and now the cleaning crew comes by 20 minutes after the show's over, or yeah. when does that? Okay. Just wanted to make sure. There is a list of dispensaries that Rocky Mountain High was not listed. So, I was looking for it. Keep dead time, dead air, dead air. I'm over here making potatoes. Get in there. Right, start right. talking, start talking. Come on, man. That's why I bring my New York friends in. We can just talk <laughs> for hours about nothing. Yeah, we blab. Huh? Want to take a call or have I've someone call in? I've been asking. Nobody called in. They're all unless he didn't get it hooked up properly, which would make sense. Would make sense. This is a You eyeing that out? Yeah. Yeah, of course. 
I ball everything. You think I'm gonna get a measuring cup out? Are you crazy? Okay. What are you crazy? Oh, better have it. Oh, oh yeah, I'm stealing all your milk. No, oh. it's a vegan turkey, but there's yeah, I don't care there's about it. I'm not a vegan. Milk and mashed I'm potatoes. Not a vegan. No, it's actually not a vegan turkey. It's um, it's uh, got uh, it's got egg protein. Oh, wait, hold on. Make sure that that's not like, I want to make sure that that's the only milk. I want to get this. It's the only milk I use this. Yeah, oh, sorry. But I left this one. Oh, there's still a lot of here. Oh, yeah, no worries. That is it. It's the only milk in there, right? That is. It'll be good. All right, so. Uh, it's mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. They don't look like potatoes to me. Well, uh, they, they're not until you mix them with the milk. Thanks. Keep talking there, kid. This talk and talk, talk, kid, talk. Yeah, talk some good show how much longer we got. We're going to pour 20 at least, right? So. So what are you doing for New Year's? Um, probably just gonna chill out on my roof. I don't even want to come out, hang out with me. Come hang out. I got a killer rooftop. Mm-hmm. I can see rooftop the, deck party. Actually, strippers. last time, last year, I went up there with the anticipation because before they had big fireworks show at the fucking stadium. So you could see everything. And I went out cool. there. I was all excited. Yeah, I got the perfect thing. Nope. Like, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. That was it. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? So I'm hoping that they're going to be a little more exciting this year. With yeah. You. Do you have any? Did you buy any fireworks? Do I have fireworks? Did you buy any? Did you bring some back from New York? Did you guys load up the plane? Did you go, go come and load your bag up with fireworks? That's always no. a good thing. TSA loves it when you do that. <coughs> can't you buy fireworks out here? You can buy fireworks. You, you can't usually... live here. That's okay. usually how the fireworks states are. Like you can buy fireworks in the oh, state. That's perfect. You got a New York. Still got your, you still got your IDs, right? Or, or you Nothing. can't live in the state. I'm sorry. License, but you I can't live in the state. I have a passport. Yeah, it says it was issued in New York. Perfect. So then you're our, you're going to be our like guy. In PA, there's mad huge firework like warehouses, fireworks. but you can't live in Pennsylvania to buy the fireworks. But there's so many fireworks warehouses, you have to live somewhere else. That's crazy. <coughs> that is crazy. Well, it's because PA's fire firework laws are ridiculous, I guess. All right, I think we're almost we're almost done. So uh, plates yeah. and things. You got all that. Make a big mess. Come on, you got paper plates or anything? <coughs> paper plates. Come on, you're that kind of guy. No, I'm not that. You're kind the kind of guy, guy who has paper plates for. Old. That's the kind of guy who has paper plates. Paper plates. Look at you, <coughs> fancy, <coughs> all schmancy. Oh. There's a clean kitchen before you came in like a bombshell. That's how I do. Ask Cece. That's not how Paul Dean does it. I don't give a fuck. Paul Dean also says the N word on air. And gets away with it. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> At a cooking show? Oh, you didn't even haven't heard it? No. So yeah, she. She said the N word, and I'm and I'm trying to think of of what context she used it in. I'm not going to even say anything close to what it was, but uh, she used the N word on in public, and yeah, had to like make a public apology for it. It was pretty funny. Paula Dean. Paula Dean has Trump said anything dumb recently? I don't think so. Has Trump said anything dumb recently? He's gonna he's gonna come close to winning, dude. People like his shit right now. Are you having it political now? I'm just saying. Hey. People, Bernie's people like his. No, he's not. He is. No, he's not. He is. He come the only reason it looks like he's not is people. If you watch Fox and stuff like that, you'd say he's not. But Fox did a poll the other day, and it was fucking ridiculous. It came out at like they said if if they did the election today, who would you vote for? And it was overwhelmingly Bernie Sanders no, on uh, Fox. Yes. On Fox, though, well, that's like that's the opposite. Normally, they no, fo- completely I, veto his ass. So it's true. I'm. I don't know though. My whole thing is, is if young people get out and vote, which they will, because they're going to look at this and go, "We cannot have Hillary Clinton and we cannot have uh, Trump." There's just no way. If we, those two people get in, it's like the end of our. But isn't Bernie Sanders kind of like a fucking joke though? Like we're just—he's going to get elected president, and we're just going to get bombed like crazy. No, we're not. All right. No, we're not. Because we're going to have somebody who's so. actually going to not waste our time and energy. All outside of here, wasting no, just listen, spending If we money. don't spend time, we're not in other countries doing that shit. They're just gonna bomb us. That's not true. Okay, they're gonna all bomb us, and we're all gonna be dead. I mean, you watch. I, what I know is that so Obama shouldn't have been elected. He got elected twice. Um, you know, according to the 
popular vote at I was going to say. I mean, Nobody yeah. thought that was going to happen. That happened. Weed wasn't going to get legal. It's legal. It's getting rolling in state by state. I don't even... Whenever they say a new state is going to put it on the ballot, I almost feel like it's a 90% chance it's going to make it. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's like, who... And the only ones that don't work are like Ohio. But they're doing bullshit, like ridiculous Ohio, stuff like Florida, where you idea. have to have 64% of the vote to win. You can't just have 50%. Where more than yeah. half the state thinks that it's right, but, oh, fuck you, you need 82% of the vote. Yeah, they'll they'll legal. Bumps fuck the that. Road, but it's like, it's coming. It's all coming. So... He'd be the perfect president for that because you think Trump understand. would do that? I bet you Trump would. Trump knows money. No, Trump's, I bet Trump's, you would. I bet you Trump would be good for weed. Uh, I, don't I think so. I don't. I'm not saying that I would vote for Trump, nor do I think Trump should be president ever. I don't think he'd be good for anything, really, personally. I think he'd benefit <laughs> weed. He probably just doesn't care. He's so stupid. But he's um, not. I mean, how do you, how do you go bankrupt that many times and still be one of the richest people on the planet? That's called America. 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 Because only America, I love America rewards people like that in the long run. Like, you know, oh, Buyouts. Well, yeah, you go bankrupt and you're actually making money in the long run. Yeah, you're smart like, about you it. You planned on it in the first place. You're not, you don't just go bankrupt. You actually <laughs> plan on going bankrupt. Whoever, whoever the leader becomes anyways. Position usually, yourself. It's usually other people that make the decisions anyways in the, in the government. It's not really whoever is going to be the face is going to still be kind of a... Kind of yeah. yeah, and then, well, there's that point of view that you know, and and if and if you're going to get the same thing no matter what, then Trump doesn't even seem so bad because at least he says really stupid things and it's funny to laugh at all the time. That's the only like, thing that, that, that is like, to what you said. that is the key of all <laughs> of this whole thing. It's like all the comedians are like, oh, oh yeah. if Trump gets in, our life is he's golden. It's like it's like Easy Street for the next four years. It's just like nonstop. <laughs> comedy you know what i mean because he's just he's i watched uh I, I hadn't seen the snl until last night i went and i watched that and i was just like it's so bad it's only like from two and a half three weeks ago and it seems so dated already you just don't like, think someone will shoot him he carries a gun dude he carries a gun he's trump carries a gun he's strapped everywhere he goes all his people are strapped all around him so but yeah but that's not the <laughs> point though as soon as he's the president he's got secret service so he's they're always strapped you know it's it's probably not i mean look at that video that jerome baker posted from the president of hawaii with all those people just fucking walking on the side of the road in that path right and nobody shot him yeah, yeah but, but that's what i mean though it's not that hard if you really wanted to you don't think there's secret service guys all around there oh right but it doesn't matter <laughs> you, you may get you may die but somebody i bet you somebody tried that to guy got Trump. close enough to say legalize it, <laughs> legalize it yeah. i can't believe that made like international <laughs> news is that jason harris yeah it was it one of jason jerome harris. baker's friends i don't know who it was it was yeah it wasn't him himself though, was it Let's see what's going on. I'm a little nervous about all this Are you? and shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. My, I got a sensitive <laughs> stomach and you're going to make me eat fake. Like, I'm not looking like forward to this. I think that's what they look like. They're just like new, like. What do you mean? Let me see. I make instant mashed potatoes all the time. You're a pro. I'm just kidding. I mean, oh, no, that's not right. What? <laughs> so there's, you need a little bit more milk in there, bro. What would they say? I know, they're never I didn't right want to use your, all your milk. Oh, right? dude. I, You're the expert. Get in there. I told you to make that originally. I said, can you How much butter did you put in there? As much as they said? Not quite. But more? <laughs> you put as much milk as they said. <laughs> I don't I, I kind of skip on some things and overdo it on others. Oh, that's too much. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> too much. Wait, where's the camera? Well, we just have the camera on the kid. That's what we need. Yeah. Kid camera, because everybody wants to see the kids cooking. Yeah, this shit is so fucking hot, too. I know, because I, I couldn't tell. It was like it wasn't even getting hot. Like, the stuff was anti just gonna have to do, anti heat. Much. Look at the kid. The kid is cooking. They must destroy these. I destroyed these. <laughs> some I just yeah. wanted them for like a little side mush to give you that. Yeah, you got the mush aspect down. We're down with the mush. Yeah. All right, let's, let's open the thing up and take a look. It does not look terrible. I didn't say it looks terrible. I think it looks it smells good because there's weed in it. I'm going to eat that part. Anyway. You're going to eat that because of that, and that's it, is what you're trying to say. All right. Are you pulling it out? Is it, is it ready to come out? When is it ready to come out? It's ready to come out. Let's get it. Ready to come out? Yeah. Not one side. I'm not getting it. Why don't you pull it out? Pull it out. Oh, you're going to drop it. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep saying I'm gonna drop it, I'm you're gonna, gonna drop it. it. Oh, Cyberstrike is ah, you're crushing it. Ah. 
Cyber turkey. Here, you can hold the camera and I'll, I'll carve the turkey. That's the easiest part is carving it. No carving right. required. No bones. No bones. No carving. This is the worst show we've ever done. This is not the worst show we've ever done. This is the best show we've ever done. No, it's not the best show. Okay, so watch this carving technique. This is crazy. Learn this. <laughs> it's crazy. So, where to start? <laughs> uh, let's see, we go. Dude. <laughs> Can't you just like stab it with a fork and yeah, pull it? Like, like, Give me a nice breast piece there. Everyone gets a nice <laughs> breast piece. That's the best part about it. Is it's all breastulists. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me another plate. Hey. Is that a squash? Yeah, yeah that's like that's a squash. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Oh uh, yeah, extra baklava on this piece. Extra. Exactly. Uh, Who's a leg first? No, the fourth one's because you're eating so, two, right? So you're leggy, you're leggy. Don't make a plate for me, I'm not, I can't eat it. You can! No. What are you talking about? No, 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 I, I can't eat it. Why? I don't, I don't eat mushrooms. This is not, a, it's a microprotein. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm you, allergic to things. You are not like allergic yeah, yeah, yeah. to anything. You're not, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, no. What about, what about, where's Brit? <laughs> uh, when we get her, she's going to have to try something, I guess, because I'm not being the only one to try this. <laughs> you're not going to be able to try it. Right now. Look at that. Uh oh. oh stuffing. Oh, now I can see how this whole thing works. See? And you got your stuff. And this is the medicated part. You can have this. Oh, dude, no, no, no. What are you talking about? I can't have anything that, that, that has touched mushroom. This is not a mushroom. This has no, no mushroom. Well, you, it's, not, it's even it's some sort of There's living no... fungus thing. Right? This, this yeah. is nothing. This <laughs> is <laughs> stuffing. So it was all this is you, stuffing. It, What's in the stuffing? Really stuffing like and medicated stuffing. This is good. This is good. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take a little portion. Try the stuffing. Yeah, I will try this. You're going to try, the, try something? Just I'll try it. Try I, it. I, will, it. I will try your try creation. Try it. Come on. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so, she wants to. Yeah, she'll, uh, she'll get on to it. All right. That's, that's all I need to hear. I need to have some. I was waiting for victims. You wait. I saw I'm a victim? Yeah. We're all victims. Well, it's weed, so you know. It's not, I'm not giving you that much. You can't get it. It's going to be impossible to overdose on it or something. Ugh. I'm going to smother the shit out of this and barbecue sauce. I'll tell you that right smother. now. Smother? Why don't you try without first? No! Just no. try it with some gravy. <laughs> Come on, people. You try it. You I, eat I it I first. Am. I want to watch you. I eat it mm. all. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to eat that. Because if you don't enjoy it, why would I enjoy it? It's going to be one of those, like, hmm, <laughs> enjoyable. Come on now. It's not like that. It's not like that, my friend. Uh, I'll take your word for it. I'm a little scared, though. You got a little thing for him? He's going to try some stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Some stuff, man. Get a little plate for him. Oh, well, He's never plate. touched a mushroom. Make sure the plate is never... <laughs> Ever exactly. seen so a mushroom? It has never gotten <laughs> near there. No mushrooms have ever seen it. Yeah. Got near it. We keep mushroom kosher. All right. You wanna? You sure, you want some gravy? No, no, I don't want the gravy. Why can you do this? What are you talking about? Gross? I'm excited to eat. Why is everything gross? I'm excited to eat it because I'm high. I'm excited to eat anything. Go ahead. I would choose oh, yeah. just about anything else. There you go. <laughs> That's funny, Grandma. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get a little of that on there. Get a little of that on there. i Telling you guys. Now, if. Uh, 45 minutes. I don't know how long you guys usually do. That was not 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, all right. You've been doing the show for two and a half hours. All right, whatever. It feels like 45 minutes. We're good. No, <laughs> bon appetit. And where is your, you gotta get the camera, because the camera's just a swath across. Do the, do the swath. Yeah, the swath. The swath. The swath. The swath of shot. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, cyber turkey is a reality. Oh. You thought it was fake. No. <laughs> and it is fake, technically. It is fake, but it's, it's faux. Fake. It's faux. Turkey. Faux turkey. Come on, people. Like have, some, have some balls. All right, I'm gonna try to have some balls right now. <laughs> you try to have some balls, exactly. Try. 
Where's Britt? She's sleeping and she's smart. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh. You're gonna have to buy cut it. There's gonna be some cutting involved here. Huh? Fake turkey. It's pretty good. Is there cannabis oil in all of this? Only in the, this. Only in the turkey stuffing. Turkey stuffing and on the, a little on the turkey too, but it doesn't really soak in as much. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's pretty good. I will say. Tim's like I'm eating grass, dude. I'm not going to fucking grass. How do you get that? <laughs> okay. What do you get grass? <laughs> this fake turkey tastes like grass. Get out of town. You try it yet? Tastes like grass. It, it does have an, uh, a pretty... Grassy flavoring? Earthy. It's called, that's called, uh, grass. that's called rosemary, I think. That's what you guys are tasting. Tastes like grass. Hmm? It, it tastes like grass? Grass? How do you get grass? Um, um, uh, it tastes like grass. Well, it kind of looks like turkey. Yeah, it does look like turkey. Telling you guys. Turkey was made out of grass. Look at him go. He's eating it like going out. Yeah, you're going to yeah, eat, you're gonna eat it all. I'm gonna eat Don't be I scared. Look at the look on his face. If My God, you're like the guy. So scared. He's very scared yeah. of mushrooms. I'm, Trust me. What is it? Uh, you know, mushrooms are like the key to life, basically. They're like the the next level shit. They are. Not just for psychedelic. I'm talking about in general, like healing properties and stuff. Yes. No stuffing doesn't taste too bad, considering. Everything else. Much hatch on Oh, stop! Or... Don't ever let the kid in your kitchen. Never. Because God forbid I don't eat so, fake turkey. So <laughs> this is the last show of this year, so that's why we're doing this so impromptu, not normal. Next week we'll have Mitch back. Things will be normal. He's our programming director that makes everything right. Where did he go? Jersey? He's in Jersey. Mm -hmm. He's in Jersey on the beach, he said, hanging out on the beach. I'm like, this is not right. Apparently listening to our show, and then when we called him, he asked us about something that we had just talked about on the show. Yeah, I wasn't really listening to the show. Yeah, I wasn't listening to the show. Lying well, to shit. And Mitch, don't listen to the kids. Love you. Because fake turkey and so shit, man. No, Mitch, no, Mitch would be like, oh, I like Mitch it. would love it. It has really... Really Mitch. individual taste to it. Yeah, no, it tastes like fucking grass. He would know how to say. He would know how to word it properly. <laughs> that tastes like if I went out to my back lawn <laughs> and pulled things out of it and then ate it. I don't know how else to word that. That's what that tastes like. Grass. I don't know. How I'll try it again. Try it again. It's good for foe, for sure. Yeah, it's way better. Okay, there's no, there's no better. There's no better. I can say that. I guess for a fake turkey, it's not that bad. Because I've but had it tastes like of, grass. There's a lot of them, like, like Gardein and all those ones, they taste weird. Like, there's something weird about them. They what don't taste like grass? I bet you those ones are probably better. No, they don't taste like grass. Um, I think it's barbecue sauce. Does the gravy have, have cannabis? No, no, the gravy's just plain. In, in, a, in an ideal world, it would, yes. Everything would. But then I'd, I figured everybody would be like, not eating it because I had it, and then all of a sudden you're not getting the full experience, so. You are you are the only one. He's getting a terrible experience. He's mixing barbecue sauce <laughs> with gravy and wondering why that's not tasting quite right. Oh, it tastes Dude. good now. Now you like it? No. <laughs> and I love barbecue sauce, okay? No. I still don't like it. I'm it amazed. terrible. I'm amazed. I mean, like I said, if you like fake shit, it's already... Yeah. We're never going to educate you. I know that. The kid will always be the kid. That's why we love uh, the kid. You know what? You know what? I'm getting sick of this shit. One of these days... We need to do like a fitness contest, okay? You, me, Mitch, and all the people who talk shit because I don't eat all veganic and I'll eat McDonald's and shit like that. I guarantee you that not only is my blood pressure lower, but I bet you I can run longer and do more physical active things than you guys can. Bet you I can. I hope so. Boom! We're I doing hope it so. That's what we're doing on St. Patrick's Day. I'm planning it. Yeah, push-ups. Drinking, drinking and cardio challenge. That sounds like the biggest meathead bullshit ever. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do cardio workout. What is guy? I just had the name of those freaking stupid meathead douchebag shoes that we were talking about at the beginning. Spurries? Sperries? Sperries. The boat shoes? Yeah, the boat shoes. Douchebag shoes? Yeah. Don't you be wearing we'll those around wear those us. Sperries. That's what okay. has to happen. That sounds good. And, uh, and pop collars and shit? Or what? Yeah. Yeah. Polos. We're Pop collar, pink shirt, next pop sweaters, collar, yeah. mm -hmm. neck sweaters. All right, it sounds like a real plan there, kid. The Jersey Shore Olympics. See you on the squash court. 
thank uh, say, thank all our sponsors again that we didn't get around to the second round, but our first round was so good. I guess we'll have to just live with that, right? Yeah. You were so on point. You had it all. Yeah, it was all It was all there. It was all there. Mm. Go back. I don't know that everybody's going to want to be associated with this grass turkey anyway. This grass turkey is the bomb. Only she's barely touched it, but that's okay. She's I'm savoring not- it because she knows. It's like, you know, when you want to save your last bite because it's so good. <laughs> I-, I can tell. That's why. <laughs> Saving the best for last, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's how, that's how they do. You know how it goes. Our yeah. Friend. More fake turkey from you guys. More fake turkey for you. Yeah. Well. Oh. All right. Thank you. Um, we're gonna fi- we're gonna sign out now. Yep. We are signing out. Say your goodbyes. We're gonna say goodbyes. Um, your shouts, if you my will. My shout outs to my beautiful wife downtown in Boulder right now with Nick swimming at the pool. I'm gonna go pick him up. Ooh, Cr- swimming. Yeah. I can't think of swimming in the winter. It's like to me, it's an anti. It's like what swimming? Like clothes off in the water and bad. Oh, it's too much. <laughs> Even if it's warm inside. Clothes off. You have to usually take your clothes off well, when you go swimming. Yeah, yeah the way you said it was. Was that was that no. racist? It was a little no. dirty. Okay. Um, shout out to Ace down at the farm. Got a whole truckload of ProMix headed down there to transplant. Transplant fever. Um, shout out to everybody out there listening to the show. Shout Keep out to Cyber Turkey. Shout out to Cyber Turkey. Shout out to Corn. <laughs> cool, 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 Warren. Cool, Warren. Cool, Warren. <laughs> Telling you, one day the kid will be no, never, dude. No, I'm educated. I taste like grass. I'll get you. Another I know one. what I'll, grass tastes like. I will. That's I will slip you your menu one day. You'll never know. Give a quick shout out to your sleeping. Oh yeah, yeah. Shout out to Britain. Shout out to the dogs. All sleeping. All sleeping upstairs in the bed, which is pretty awesome because I wish I could be sleeping and not eating this fake ass turkey. Oh man. Shout out to everybody down at Dark Horse, A Rex Tracks, Alina, the mm-hmm. parents. I think they're still in Mexico. Fuckers, pissed. They all went without me. My whole family. Sucks. It's like that Home Alone. Yeah. Yes. Like the new version. You're like yes. I was here on Christmas by myself. Yes. It was Home Alone. You saw, awesome. Oh, did you see that Home Alone? Uh, thing Which was you? fucking hysterical. That was good. Yes. Did you, see it, that? you had no idea that he was. With that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty that good. Was, that was kind of disturbing. It was kind of disturbing, but it was really good. But it was good. So shouts to Macaulay Culkin and Joe Pesci. Well, I thought you know that it's the same as I think that they should have done with uh, Breaking Bad. If they had put him in the witness protection program, and then he walked in the room, and it was now starting of Malcolm in the Middle, that would have been the best way to fucking end right, that show. Yeah. That would have been like, yep. and like, here's your new family, and they would be like, hey, Dad, and they'd be like, oh, my God, mind blown. Mind Malcolm blown. in the Middle is actually yeah, yeah. witness protection program for the Breaking Bad guy the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> would have been a great... Really All good right, good well, great on that, that note, See thank you, you for watching <laughs> us make a ridiculously fake turkey the entire time. Ridiculous. Practically every one of the top 40 records being played on every radio station in the United States is a communication I'm to the children to take a trip, to cop out, to groove. The psychedelic jackets on the record albums have their own hidden symbols and messages as well as all the lyrics of all the top rock songs. I changed it a little bit. We don't want you to smoke genetically modified ganja. We want you to smoke the real thing. We want you to smoke the natural herb. Some call it marijuana. Some call it sense media. Some call it lamb's bread. And some people call it... Welcome to the Adam Dunn Show.